Hey everyone, and welcome back to a Ravenhurst mod. So, uh, it is a little bit earlier than usual, but as you guys know, I went from like streaming six days a week at like from like four hours, six hours, seven hours, uh, to not only doing it three times a week, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And because I'm doing less on Saturdays, I'll be streaming a little bit longer. So two hours earlier, two hours later, that kind of thing. Um, depending on how well my back holds out. I just need to learn to stand up and stretch a bit. Although it's such a pain having to move the chair out and stuff because there's wheels and they have a tile floor and stuff. But yeah, I need to remember to do that just for my own health. Also, I checked on Discord today and Jax Teller actually said that there's going to be a new update for Ravener soon. And it's going to be the last one before Alpha 22. And then Alpha 22 is going to introduce so many changes, apparently, and fixes. Um, because as you guys know, Alpha 21 broke most mods. That's why a lot of mods haven't released even yet. Because they're still busy trying to sort out bugs and errors and stuff in the game. Uh, but yeah. So as soon as that uh, update comes out, I need to install that. I know there was a Darkness Falls patch today as well. So before I start recording tomorrow, I should probably just install that as well. And yeah. Uh, hey, Victor, welcome to the stream. It just has to be now stream. before the stream, all of a sudden my voice goes... Rrr. It's the worst feeling when you're busy talking and you're uh, just like the phlegm and stuff in your throat and just your voice goes away. Okay, that's all done. Uh, oh, I have not posted that link. Let me just do that. Ravenhurst. Post that, post that, and that. Message. Okay, do push to mute and I have to join the Discord as well. I don't know what time it is in game at the moment. Testing, testing. Okay, let's join. Connect, connect. I just want to try in game because sometimes when I do push to mute, like when I clear my throat and stuff and I don't want to have it ca uh, caught on the, uh, the mic, um, I've noticed that sometimes when I'm running or uh, using shift in a vehicle or something, uh, it doesn't always block it. But sometimes it does. I'm so confused as to when what happens. When it blocks and when it doesn't. I wonder if uh, TBF is still going to be joining us on the server. That'd be cool. He's also a YouTuber does Ravenhurst. Uh, I think at the moment his current series is on like uh, default difficulty. Um, but yeah, you can see he actually knows the mod as well. So it'd be cool if he joins us on this as well. And it's a shame that the mod creator has issues and stuff uh, like personal um, stuff going on in his life. I think they need to also be in chat and watching and stuff. That'd be awesome. Let me understand. Uh, real life comes first, especially when it's family related. Okay, let's see what the time is in game. Saturday. <laughs> it's always close to award. Oh, I wasn't on yet. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I had all of this stuff smelting in. Basically, I need to get into the habit of um just every now and then get, just hopping onto the server and putting more resources in because i keep running out of resources over here it's insane but i also at least went mining a little bit more for more carbon and i've been making pallets and stuff to put into the fires but clay and sand take equally as long to just go through it i need to fill these up and also make them into normal jars and then this is my wood base oh yeah the wood is on me let's see what's going to be taken out first are you streaming right now yep streaming oh i thought you started at four today mm, well it's my 8 p.m at the moment i start two hours early on a saturday now oh okay okay because i'm not on during the like, as much during the week anymore i wanted to uh, make sure the weekend's a little bit longer all right well let me get your stream up then with this many jars, I should be able to make quite a bit of concrete mix, but still, that's only 135 blocks worth of steel. And I'm out of iron once again already. I think it's something in the game. It's only when the game's open that my screen does a weird... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if, if it's called artifacting. It's more like static running across the screen. I'm just hoping that because the game's taxing my system, it's not my GPU that's busy failing. That would be bad. 
I don't know if this GPU is still under warranty or not. I'm doubting it. How long have you had it? Uh, not sure. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay, I'm going to put the full doors over here. Okay. Over here's going to be normal doors, and I still have to put in all the other concrete and stuff, but I want to make everything steel first. See, this base is technically a hoard already, already. Um, even though there's no ladders and stuff, and the stairs are unfinished, um, there's more than enough stairs for the zombies to actually path up into my base. So I'm really hoping we can actually face... Well, we're going to... I'm actually thinking of facing this next hoard, yeah. Testing whether this base holds or not. That's going to go on top. That's going to go over here. I have more concrete blocks now as well. I have more steel, but I need to hop on the server every now and then uh, because I, I keep forgetting. Um, I did some mining at least, but uh, I need to be on a little bit more just every now and then. Just hop on to quickly put some more stuff in the forges. It seems the forges over here do still... I'm in the desert where no one else is, but if I'm not online, the forge still finishes. Okay. Yeah, if I can just finish... Hopefully the steel will be done before Horde Knight, so I can just quickly put in the rest of the steel over there. I want to make sure the whole walkway where the zombies can get up and down is steel. I'm not going to be ready for vultures, though. Unless I have more concrete. It's a shame that I... have this connected over here. Because I don't have this side done yet. During Horde Knight, the zombie can easily go that side while I'm not there and I have to run this way. Probably also have to make sure that I can make my um, doors and stuff steel before the wood as well. Okay, uh, jars I need to fill up. Hello, zombie, you popped in out of nowhere. Oh, I actually I want to still go for some classes. Let's go for... Where's that table? Um, I'm going to go for the sniper class. That is rifles. Rifle class. Boom. So the rifle class. And then what else can I go for? The spears I've already done. Yeah, there's nothing else active at the moment. I'm actually thinking of going for like the subclasses as well. Getting myself the... Although, then again, I have this bannock now, so I don't even need that. I was about to say, I need to get myself the um, minor one so I can get that uh, resource collector. But that's not necessary. It's, it, the resource collector is terrible. I mean, there's no reason for it to give you clay. It should give you stuff that you're not able to get. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I've already done there's automatics. There's no way you did blades or fists. Hey, Samros. I don't think I've done blades yet. Javelin class, I've just thought... Well, I've finished javelin class, shotguns, and automatics. I think that's... And archer oh. class. So all of these are the I should actually go for now. Oh, that's the Gun other one class. I have to do is archer class. Pistol class. I'm thinking of going for uh, range classes first. Shotgun class, I don't know if I have that one. Would you do sledge? Would you ever do a sledge? Uh, not sure. I want to make sure that I have all of them, but there's no real reason to. No, just for your own How do you know if you have the class done or not? You don't. I don't the think... Book doesn't, the book doesn't light up or anything. I can't remember whether I did the shotguns or not. I know I specced into shotguns. But I don't think I actually did the shotgun class. It's so dumb that it doesn't show you that you've completed this class, completed that class. Right. Nope, it doesn't show at all. Archery training. 
I wonder if you can actually look at this for training. No, it doesn't show. Archery. That's so weird. Even though there is archery training in this list, it doesn't pick up the archery training when you try and search for it. Was it archery training or was it, did it say bows? No, it says archery training over here in the quest line. Okay. My GPU is definitely artifacting. I wonder if it's not getting enough uh, air or something. Um... More what do you mean artifacting? It's just it's static across the screen every now and then. It's almost like the screen's giving out, but I think it's the GPU. It's it's only when it when I'm in game that it happens. It doesn't happen when I'm watching YouTube or anything else. Well, can't see it on the on the stream. So yep, so it's definitely my size. It's the GPU. Although then again, if it was the GPU, then you should be able to see it on the stream as well. I haven't done the shotgun class yet. Okay. Then again, since I can already craft shotguns at that high level, I wonder if it's even necessary. I can make a shotgun at level uh, 901 already. So this basically gives me a reason to go into those classes. What, what's the point actually of going into different classes? I can't remember There's how no, great the I rewards mean, are or anything. The point is just doing it on, for your own satisfaction that's that's it because the thing is as long as you go you, you can use any weapon anyways uh just getting your um stuff up i grab it yeah the rifle class the, 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 all, all you have to do is actually go for the action skills just use stuff and get it uh, maxed out and then stick into it you don't have to do quests i can't remember i know for some of them there's a reward at the end like, for example, the minor class... No, no, but the minor, you get that uh, excavator from the start. I think for the shotgun... No, uh, the shotgun I've got at uh, is reward. I can't remember what the uh, what the reason for it is. There's no real reason to do other classes. I think instead, I should probably go and make my books for these over here. Like, batter up player volume 1. Batter up volume 1. Actually go through it like this and see which ones are not done yet. Bar Brawling Volume 4. Crippler Mod, I don't need to make that. Helmet Light Mod, don't need to make that. Magnum Enforcer. Needle and Thread. Night Stalker. Okay, we'll just have to wait for those to finish first. Since I've made this class, I can just all do it. Like, just now, I don't know if you guys saw it. As I said, a class, there was like a thing going across. But I think it might actually be my screen. Although that, uh, th this happened in the past before. Although it was white lines going across. Again, just now. Seriously, the screen. Toggling with the cable at the back doesn't seem to do anything. Rifle points. Rifles, rifles, rifles. 64, not bad. I'll up that in my spare time as well because I should be able to make a little bit better one. But for this I do need to get the kills now because I have it. Okay, I need to make sure these resources finish as soon as possible. It's a shame you can't just take this out now that it's busy crafting and put another crucible in. Because I need steel. I'm going to fill up these jars. Can't you stop crafting and then put three crucibles? Won't that, will that do something? Um, no, 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 well, if you put one crucible... No, I meant uh, anvils. I want to stop oh. uh, uh, so that I can put more uh, anvils in so I can craft faster, but it doesn't work that like like that. Okay, let's go fill up these jars. I need more concrete. As long as I have all of this stuff concrete, like all the way upgraded, it should be fine for Fortnite. I just want to make sure that the staircase is done so zombies don't get stuck anywhere weird and start doing unnecessary damage. To 
Just think if you have enough Zombies. jaws, you can actually clear up a whole lake like this. Zombies doing unintentional damage? No. <laughs> Hello, Copper. How was your day? It was okay. Yeah. Couldn't do any uh, recording today because the gardener was here. He's usually not here on a weekend, but because he wasn't here during the week, my aunt was like, yeah, then come during the weekend. And my uncle was grinding stuff again, so I'm just hoping tomorrow when I record, I actually have time to record. No. When I record, I like being I able to just sit down and record. Your, I thought you shared the place with your parents. I did. Well, this place was our aunts and uncles, but uh, they were scammed, so they didn't go overseas. Now they're back here. So now it's six people living here and seven dogs living here and just it's ah it's very noisy, very busy. Excuse me? You said how many dogs? Seven. They're four and then all three. My mother decided to get a puppy as uh, as well. So there's constant yapping and nonstop noise. That's why I'm always so cautious or so um what do you call it, so uh serious about like the dog noise, if you're able to hear it or not. Because it's just nonstop barking of here sometimes. Well, it doesn't pick it up. I don't ever. Once in a while, you'll hear a big yip. Yeah, but, but it's honestly, usually it's usually when I'm busy talking that it picks up the background as well. Um, but if it's just them barking, even though it bothers the hell out of me, at least it doesn't pick up that much. Yes. That's why I was so happy uh, thinking that I might be able to move out with my brother, and then he decided now he wants to move out on his own. That's why if I can get to a, uh, to like 100, 150 members, I can actually consider giving myself like a small place. So I can record and stream whenever I want without having to worry about bothering anyone. How much are apartments over there? Depends on where you want to live. Um, it's about $500 a month. If you if you get like the water, dollars lights, rent. dollars. Five hundred. Oh, that was Rose Rands. I wish <laughs> that would be amazing. It's about five hundred. Uh, basically, for me to pay off like all my debt that I have as one k, but that's without paying any other debts and stuff. Basically, five months worth of salary. So yeah, at the moment I'm still. That's why I say that I'm still a small YouTuber because I don't really earn that much. I earn a decent amount, enough to just at least cover my costs and stuff. But to be able to move out, I need more members, more uh, subscribers, more all of that. That's why I always say, if I can get to 100 members, um, I can actually uh, like reduce a bit of the ads. 200 members, I can afford to remove all mid-break ads and even move out at the same time. Though sometimes YouTube puts a little bit too many ads on the um, recording. If I don't, if I'm not the one to set how many ads are there on a video, sometimes YouTube adds like 13, 14, 15 videos or um, ads during the video. And my videos aren't long enough to be have, having that many um, ads playing in between. Average is about 1.5 in Ireland. Hey, Israel, welcome to the stream. Surreal. The thing is, I oh, earn about 300. I earn about 300 with YouTube. I don't mind talking numbers and stuff. So with 300 being earned, then I have to go and pay off like his loans, uh, medical, um, cell phone, all that kind of stuff. And then at the end, I have nothing left. So then to also have an extra, uh, just 500 just for like living expenses. I don't have that kind of money. Hopefully one day. Is that 1,500 pounds, Cereal? Yep, 1,500 pounds. What's the conversion rate? Pounds, is that more in dollars? I think pounds are a little bit heftier than dollars. Zeros. Euros. Oh. It's, I don't even... I'm so bad at the conversion rate stuff. But I think euros are still a little bit more uh, than dollars. Um, like, I think 
I think to a dollar, it's like uh, for uh, for 18 rand, it's one dollar, and for like 20 rand, it's uh, a euro or something like that. Uh, okay, steel. I need to quickly replace these. I was able to break these out of my spare time. Took forever though. Twenty thousand per block is insane. You have spare time with all the recording you do? When I'm bored, when I don't have anything to do during the day, I was just like, okay, let me just quickly pop on. Just bothering me that the screen, I don't know if it's the screen itself, if it's the port on the GPU, so the screen is messing up. But the fact that it's not showing, it's not showing on your side when you're watching the stream. Um, that means it's definitely to do with my screen. Because if it, was, if it was artifacting, I think it will also be recording the artifacting as well. If I'm not mistaken. Right, so these stairs at the back. Um... Are you kidding me? So I don't think there's a little bit of damage. Fortnite yesterday, I uh, I died in in the middle of horde, <laughs> so I ended up back at my base. I have to remember to put a bag down at the horde base. Anyways, I tried to ride my bike, and the birds got me off of my bike, and I couldn't do anything, so I ran 2.2 kilometers. To horde to the horde base and survive the rest of the night. <laughs> yeah, you have to have like a mega crush or something in case you die. Uh, no, I didn't have a mega crush. I but I mean, like, using... if you die in this game, then usually a mega crush helps a lot. Oh, yeah, I was just pop that and run. But what I did was I would shoot, you know, how you get the burst of if you're in combat. I think it's under the machine gunner perk. If you get if you shoot, you get a burst of stamina and you can run faster. That's what I would do. It would do. I would shoot, shoot one, run faster, shoot one. Run faster. I just had a, a wolf back attack me. Just now? Yep. I haven't seen one of these in a while. But only there's at least three of you, so I'm guessing there's more wolves somewhere. But now that I shot them, okay, at least that's already steel. Um, I hit it when I do damage to a block, and I have to go and grab more resources just to be able to repair that to upgrade it. So many bears here in the wasteland. Oh my goodness. Uh, 1,500 US dollars is about 1.6 Rand. It's about 30,000. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> no, wait. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, more or less. Because basically, one grand is about like 18,000 Rand. So if you go, if you take dollars to euros, you lose money. Yeah. But if you, if any of you guys were to come live in South Africa, if you are struggling in America, for example, and you come to, uh, come live here, you can lead a comfortable life. Just because of the conversion rate. Oh yeah, I was making rockets. I need to make more. What was I lacking? Oh, I think I was lacking fuel. Uh, frag. Oh boy, oh boy, I need... Yep, fuel. I gotta find oh, I was making speed. fuel. That's gonna pop into my inventory like crazy now. I could have thought I was making way more, so I think I might have lost some just now. 24 minutes. Okay, that should be enough for now. And then when it comes to resources, did I have any concrete mix over here? Be glad you're not living in the U.S., uh, John, because the money you make wouldn't cover yep. anything. <laughs> the only reason I'm able to do YouTube for a living at the moment is because of uh, the conversion rate. And even then, it's just like barely scraping through. And so I've actually considered like getting like a part-time job or something, but if I do that, or even like a full-time thing, then I won't be able to stream. But I'd be too tired after days of work, a day of work, to be able to stream. Right, right. At least the, the videos I could still do on a weekend, but I actually like being able to stream like this. Of course. 
and it's enjoyable for your patrons. You know, you pop on somebody that has the has the you know who you support is on there playing with you, not just once every two weeks or something. Yeah. You know. I mean, I get it. Some of the bigger YouTubes that tubers have to. You know, that's oh, we have. That's the only time I can pop on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but but also uh, most of them because in America they still have full time jobs. They don't have the time to be on a server uh, like, as much as I do. And some of the ones I know, or I don't know personally, but you know, like Guns Nerds and Steel quit his full time job. Ooh. I wish that I could actually say like I quit. Well, technically I quit my full-time job because I was a swimming instructor. But I want to be able to say I quit my job and I don't regret it. At the moment I'm like, ooh, I'm, j I'm, I'm getting through, but it's just like just, just getting through. Right, right, right. If I can get to like... Uh, 20k subscribers or something like that then I'd be able to make uh, like literally go and live on my own I don't have to worry about anything is the ad revenue alone from having 20,000 subscribers uh, because that's more uh, eyeballs watching your content that would be amazing okay, I need more steel running out of steel is so easy well I try to promote you as much as I possibly can appreciate it I mean, you got two of your friends on here. <laughs> and I think I'm going to get another two coming. See if I can get you a certain amount of uh, patrons as well. I can consider like having a second server. So we can jump around between two. So, like if the one nears its end and we want to start one. Like for example, this. This one's still for a lot of people way far from being done. So if we wanted to start a second server uh, just for people to enjoy. I'd be able to do that, but at the moment, that's a big no-no. Oh, wow. I just one-shot a stone, uh, yeah, stone, piece of uh, rock. You see, it's like two or three shots, but being able to one-shot it. Damn, how much damage is this pick doing? Oh, yeah, I made myself a uh, tungsten shovel and tungsten pickaxe again. I'm going to make sure this goes down very slowly. It's just a shame that stuff like Venmo and GoFundMe and all that stuff, that's not in South Africa. Because a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people have actually wanted to donate and they say like, yeah, um, I'll give me your Venmo number or give me your Cash App or that stuff isn't in South Africa. What do you use for like that kind of stuff? Just PayPal. And the thing is, not a lot of people have PayPal or uh, can access PayPal. PayPal can be very difficult to deal with. Are you guys, uh, when you're watching the stream, you really don't see anything going across the screen, right? No, the I fact, tell you. If the I fact that down. it's not, because I have my OBS open over here and a preview of the stream. The fact that it's not showing on the second screen, like on the preview on um, OBS, and it's not showing on the other one. Makes me think it's definitely to do with a PC screen itself. Unless artifacting doesn't get caught up uh, when recording. Like, even though it is the GPU, it doesn't show um, recording side. But that wouldn't make sense. I need to really go full in the roof just in case there's vultures during Ward Night. I should probably make myself a second uh, big forge as well. I can get a, a dual stream of uh, steel coming in. Shape, copy rotation. At least if I misplace the concrete, it's pretty easy replacing it or taking it out. It's only 5k, but it's weird. Even though it's 5k, it's a, it's a fourth of the time faster to break it. I still feel like it's even faster to break than that. Even though steel has four times the HP, it takes way uh, longer than four times the amount to break it. I just realized I need two more hatches. Oh, I also need to make sure that with the next batch of steel, I just quickly first go and make myself um, those vault doors. 
Hey, Paul, welcome to the stream. I think at the moment my PC is also taking a lot of strain having to record and stream and stuff while playing the game on the same rig. I think I might actually be able to like um, stream and record at ultra settings if I can get myself like just a budget uh, second rig with a good CPU in it because apparently the OBS needs to be able to uh, get run or like the stream itself uh, needs to be with a good CPU. Why did that screen just go off? No, 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 don't do this to me. My second screen's going off now. What was that just now? That was so, I wonder if it's not a uh, um, power issue. But that was my second okay. screen just now, got, uh, just completely going off. But there's no thunder or lightning over here. Well, what is your power supply? Well, it's a 1K, uh, 1,000 um, no, watt power supply. Power so, no, no, but I mean like the power getting fed to it. Might be unstable oh. or something. We haven't had any load shedding issues, but we have so many surges and stuff over here. That's probably exactly what it is. It's weird. Nothing else just now surged. Like the, I have the spotlight, uh, the ring light and everything. It's just the screen that went off for some reason. Okay, um, I wonder if I shouldn't try and swap out, but I'll do that after the stream. I have an extension, I wonder if the extension's not busy going. Like, it's not giving enough power to the screens, and that's why it's flickering and stuff. Uh, I'm starting to feel nowhere is safe. For me, I hate being trapped in my room all day. Well, <laughs> I'm in my room 24-7 as well. Oh no, Lane. Why are you trapped, if you don't mind me asking? Can he hear? I think it might be she, Lane. Oh, she. Um, Sorry. Well, it might be. I, I don't know. I, I never ask people. Hey, why are you going for the poles downstairs? That's kind of worrisome. Oh, that reminds me. I think first things first, I need to make sure instead of going for stuff over there, I should go and upgrade the poles over here to steel, the pillars. These are already steel, but those over there, I don't know, that, that couldn't be a vulnerability. I feel like the ones underneath me would be more of a vulnerability if there was one. But Lane, why are you feeling trapped? I mean, I'm used to it. Like I said, I'm in my room 24-7. Oh crap, there's a fire. Uh, Blacksmith Forge. FPS is... Oh, the whole barn's on fire. What do I need? One bucket. Forging plate, casting tunnel. Whoa. Forging plate, I need forged iron. Forged iron, I think I had some iron. No, I did not have iron smelting in. Whilst the smelting would be these three. Where did I put that wood? Oh, yeah. Okay, I also made myself like three more. Oh, hello. I made myself three more of these. There we are. Oh yeah, um, uh, Victor. Uh, the resources, only one stack can finish. You were right. Uh, it's whatever's in that stack, no matter how big, if you go all way and you come back, it finishes auto like that. But if there was a second stack, it usually stops. Because it's a new instance that has to start. I noticed that with, uh, when I was making, when I was doing the steel and stuff as well, uh, or the iron. I had ten thousand iron in here. It finished, and uh, because it popped into my inventory like that, and then the second stream stopped. Usually, me who traps me indoors all day. Anxiety, depression just gets you sometimes. Feel down. Also, give myself one day of feeling bad. No use putting iron. Wait, did I? Wait, what? Am <laughs> I <Wait>, that tired? <laughs> uh, 
And it's if you didn't mention that just now, I wouldn't have realized. <laughs> Instead of putting bellows in the tools, I put all the iron in the tools and I let the fire go. <laughs> Damn, how did I not realize I did that just now? Sometimes my brain really feels old. Like, damn. <laughs> Sorry, Lane, that you're going through that. It's real. I get what you're saying. I would have come back later to that forge and not even realized that was happening just now. Yeah, like, why isn't my stuff going? Okay, at least we should be on for Horde Knight over here. I want to take out all those wooden frames over there to make sure they don't cause any issues. Um, yeah, let me get this forge done quickly. Forged iron. I know I can put these three. I uh, could just as well. Actually, I might... I might come to that base, Gene, if you don't mind, John. Ah, uh, don't mind. It should be uh, strong enough to hold a uh, few people. I'm not using any ladders, so they're just gonna run up straight at us. Um... Oh wow, that's a major difference. Instead of five minutes, only like ten seconds. I feel like my brain is just out of it these days. I need to get those thing, uh, those pulls and stuff that uh, reduces brain fog. Because I didn't even like yesterday when I, or the day, uh, day before when I said an hour twenty. I heard myself say an hour twenty, and they were like, "Oh no, I said a minute 20. Or just now, me putting iron in the tool slots and not even realizing that I didn't put anything in the smelting slots. My brain, man, my brain. It actually makes me worried sometimes. <laughs> not gonna lie. Like, damn. Forging plate. Casting tunnel. And buckets. Okay, I wasn't making... I, I want to make other vehicles, but I wasn't making any at the moment. Oh, 14 more for bladed weapons, and I think I'm done. Damn, there's a lot of screamers. Come here, you. Oh, come on. I thought I shot you before you screamed. Did you just spawn another one, or was that already another one? I've noticed I'm also getting more and more streamers uh, just showing up in the middle of nowhere. Like, I'd be busy driving, and all of a sudden they're just attacking me. I need to make sure that for Horde Knights I do this. And this, so the zombies can't feel like they can pass to me. Boomstick perk. Boomstick. Isn't boomstick just to be over the shotguns? Shotgun crafting. Wait, uh... I don't think there is a boomstick perk. Not in this mod. That's usually with the perks or with the... Uh, the what's it called? It's usually with the skills and perks, but in uh, Ravenous it works a little bit different. Your um, action skills increase your damage with your weapons. Like, for example, the shotguns are over here maxed out. And then shotgun crafting is 3 out of 3, so I can make the best quality shotguns. But as far as I'm aware, there's no boomstick over here. Okay, that should be done. Forge, make another one. I don't know where I'm going to put this, because this, these things are huge. If I can, I want to put them right in front of each other, but even if you're just standing right there, 
You're gonna actually catch on fire. This thing is brutal. It's nice being on the server and just shutting down your brain sometimes, just playing, having fun. At least all the members are really awesome people. I have to say, uh, and I'm not just saying this, so far I think this is the best group that I've had so far with like my members. Don't worry, Jarell, that still includes you. <laughs> not the age, I reckon it's too many things going in your head rather than dropping meds, try to meditate or get all black guarding or something. I think I, I just coop myself up in my room too much. So then I, I really don't even realize sometimes how... Like, like just like it's also stress and anxiety and depression and stuff. But because I'm both basically in my room the whole day, uh, my brain isn't getting enough like just air, just going out there and doing things. It's resting or seven days or resting or seven days. I've actually been taking the, well, it's still computer, so it's bad for your eyes and stuff. But in the days that I have off now, I'm like catching up on my series and movies and just relaxing a bit more. I'm just constantly doing seven days, seven days, seven days. I have to make this wider. Ah, I finish the roof still. We need you to keep this going. The thing is, I, I enjoy this game so much that even sometimes when I'm recording, I'm like, ah, I have to record today. But as soon as I start playing, sometimes my recordings are going over time just because I uh, I'm so engrossed in the game. Like this game can never get old to me. I agree. I mean, this is literally you've seen uh, the other day. Uh, I actually showed my Steam playlist on stream, and you you could have seen I have like a, a few hundred games, but I never ever play them. I laughed so hard at that. I was like, what is going on? He and sometimes you, the thing is, sometimes you buy them because you feel like you're gonna play them, and you just never end up playing them. Oh, another Mackerson chest. So I got a lot of tier threes and tier fours, nine hundreds in the nine hundreds. So once I max everything out, I'm just gonna try them out. I know they're not better, but I just love the sound, the sounds of the new guns. I need to fill up all of these. I don't, wanna, uh, I don't want a repeat of other Horde base where the wall's only one thick and the zombies are able to actually hide inside the wall. Even at the back of here, this all needs to be filled in before the Horde. I might be able to do it if I just focus on steel production. See, this needs to be steel as well before I can put another row over here. There's supposed to be four rows of um, ladders and stairs and stuff at the back. <laughs> Ezreal, I agree. We all need that something extra in our lives. Uh, yeah. I need way more iron in there. It depends on how much extra drama you want in your life. Well, the right person won't be drama. You just have to make sure you don't settle. Drama. Yeah, but you just make sure you don't settle for uh, life. Like, uh, I'm alone for so long, let me just settle. I think that's the biggest mistake a lot of people make. They just want the company so bad that they, they settle on the easiest. That's the right I've way been, to put it. I've been single for going on 12 years now. Well, and I was single until the age of 29. Me. Only had a girlfriend 11 years, and now I've been single for the uh, next three years as well. I'm not regretting it at all. I Where mean, do I, I wish I was still married? Sure. What? Where'd you come from? Damn dog. Okay, to smelt these in, I'm definitely going to need some more bellows. And I want to be careful because I can accidentally set myself light so easily over here. Oh, I'm going to have to make myself... No, I do have more crucibles. I'll focus solely on the smelting for now. I've tried digging, Jean, and finding wolvermite or to get tungsten. Yeah. And just no luck. <laughs> and with me, it was that uh, just that easy. Hello. I 
think I can take some of these. One, two, three. But oh, there's two of you, so I don't have to put that one in there. Okay, I don't think there was more damage, but I'll just keep this on me in case there was more damage. Steel, as oh they finish, but that's going to be a while. Me. 225 kills with the Kukri. Ku Kukri, yeah. That's going to be interesting. I got to find... I don't think I can oh, no, make it dead. yet. I think for now, since I need the steel right now, I'll just go for... Resources like this. So in 20 minutes time, I'll be able to make some steel on this one. This one, I need to make sure I'm constantly putting in more resources. The carbon's going to run out soon, though. The steel process is a long and slow one. I should have actually had this other forge a while ago. Bench tools. That away. So in 20 minutes time, I have to come back and check again. Building supplies, no need. Oh, now I need to be careful. This is reverse, so now I can stand over here, that's fine, but I can't stand over there because I'll catch fire. This side it's the reverse, I can't stand here because it's too hot. Okay, I need to make myself some wooden shapes, or at least I think I have some in the building. It really bothers me when my screen does that flickering thing. Sometimes it's like a lot that happens, other times it doesn't happen at all. Okay, concrete, ammo. Okay, what am I getting rid of? I just want to go see if I can't do a quest or two while I'm waiting for the steel and stuff to craft. Like every 20 minutes I have to come back over here just to make sure. Like after every two quests I think should be enough. I have to come uh, make sure that I put some more stuff in the fires over here. And now I'll just go over here. And do that. Oh hey bro. I, well, actually, I did earlier today. Made, I made sure they're plugged in properly. I even swapped them around on the um, the extension. I, it's a short extension, so I think it might be an old one. It might be dirty or something. So I think what I should do is, after the stream, is I don't want to do it now and have the, piece, uh, the screens turn off and stuff. I need to replace the small um, extension I have over here with a better one. So I think something's not making connections somewhere. Okay, oh. let's see. Damn you, Mo, you scared me. There's your map over there. Wolframite's over there. Trader U, Trader Joel. I can't remember which one was the highest level. I think Trader U, I still have a very uh, low quest here, so I'll go for Trader Joel over here. I think I'm already on tier 4s with him. I need to remind myself, in 20 minutes time, come check in again. Too much for peace and quiet. That's a big thing as well, Zeril. I, I also I feel like I, I mean I've only ever had someone that I was in a relationship with for like eleven months, and that gave me enough of an idea of what I want in a relationship. Like no drama, just I, you want peace. You don't want to uh, always be on edge around someone. If they're constantly causing drama and stuff in your life, then it's just it's it's better just being single at that point. I mean sometimes you do miss just being able to hold someone. But other than that, uh, the, the single life is actually okay, life. I feel like you should be able to find someone that puts you at ease. You don't have to constantly worry or stress. Okay, I refreshed the server like three hours ago and the map is still spawning in very slowly. Whoops, whoops, whoops. That could have been bad. 29% HP. Do, do, 
do do I gotta make the Marauder for the wasteland here in the wasteland. This buggy just is, hits everything. Hey Joel, how you doing? Okay, so I'll do quests that are super close first, but that's a restore power. Restore power. Fetch and clear. Surreal, come on Discord. Gotta hear your sweet voice. I just want someone that actually means it when they say they're looking for communication in a relationship. Oh, I know, huh? I Jeez. do when they say it's all about communication, but they never bloody communicate. They bottle never in. say two words. Yeah, they you bottle know. it in, bottle it in, bottle it in, and then after a month or a few weeks or something, then all of a sudden it's an issue. But if you communicated what? on time, we could have sorted it out. Do you remember when we did this six weeks ago? What are you talking about? What? Yeah, you think there's no issues at all, and they've been bottling something up because they didn't communicate. You never told me this or that. You, never... what the... you can never get into an argument with a woman because she remembers something from six months ago. I wish my memory was that good. <laughs> the only thing I remember is like compliments and stuff. I say men don't get complimented enough, so uh, when you actually get a real compliment, uh, that sticks with you for uh, forever. I mean, heck, I still remember stuff that happened in high school. But you play so many mods, you can't remember what happened. Yes, <laughs> Where is this pure eye? Oh, this one. I, I love it how you go... Um, is that in my stream mod or my regular mod? <laughs> like, it isn't, oh, but but that's trouble. also that's why I never stream and play a game at the same time, like for a video series, like I'm doing now with Ravenous, because it just confuses the hell out of me. At least there are some differences, like with the quests and stuff, but still, it's so hard to keep track. At least with different mods, the chance of that happening is a lot lower. Oh. Like we'll talk about like volatile and toxic and stuff. Um, you have no idea how many women over here just feel like it's like everyone. I have the I'm the kind of guy where people just um confide in me about everything. Like I could be a stranger to them and they just tell me the whole life story. And the amount of people that think it's normal for boyfriends to control their uh, girlfriends is insane. And vice but, versa. And, and vice versa. Still, you know, because I am. Oh, this is a wonder road now. Because, for example, uh, there was one girl that thought it was normal for her not to be able to, like, cut her hair because her boyfriend doesn't like it. Or she's not allowed to hang out with friends, or she's not allowed... Like, just... It's not normal. But they feel like that's how every guy is. That's normal. And just try and be, a, like, a gentleman or something. They're not used to it. They think there's something wrong with you. Yeah, and then they quit the relationship. It's like, um... What are you doing? No? Oh, you're too perfect. Are you too good for me? I can't take it. That's the dumbest thing when women say that they want something, uh, someone non-toxic, a nice guy, and then when they actually meet one, now you're too nice. They're so used to being abused in their lives. Whether it be emotionally, physically, whatever, that they're just... Uh, it's, it's not normal for them to actually meet someone nice. Man, I love this gun. Ooh, you did not wake up just now. That could have been a little bit dangerous. What's that? Oh. You know, dude, I'm sick of your roar like a demo. Any problem with being able to jump too high is the fact that sometimes you jump too high. Keep bumping your heads <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I think I'm it's supposed to climb once. over here. Yeah. Everything is so far away. I'm going to the... I'm going to go to... Oh, bow with the chainsaw. Ouch, Light that goes hurt. this way. Light goes this way.
I think we're supposed to climb up here then. Yep. It actually looked broken from one angle. And what are you in blades? Are you a hundred and a hundred in blades? Um. Uh, no, not a hundred and a hundred. Are you, uh, can you make the best blade yet? No, I'm 61. Oh, okay. I mean, I have a katana. Oh. I actually want to try and use it. Oh, it's awesome. It really good awesome. quality it's got, katana. It's good, got good length, so you have can keep distance, and it's fast. Doesn't use a lot of. Uh, I think it's like seventeen. Uh, what you call it? Stamina. I just use the katana and just constant power attacks, power attacks. I hate the hay, oh, the hay, the way they sometimes just shake their heads. Hard to aim. Yeah, you got a perfect setup, and then all of a sudden they're shaking their head, and it's like. Oh, yeah, I hello. Missed. Yeah, that was a BS hit. But I think it's to do with the fact that it's technically. Uh, she, technically, she hit or she swung before I stepped back, so that little bit of delay makes it still hit. The zombies underneath, he fell through. Let me just pass properly over here. Oh, there you are. You're stuck over there. T-posing. Okay, technically I need to grab all the mechanical and stuff parts of here, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. I have so many parts already at the base that I don't feel like I need any more. Can I jump through here? Come on. I need to crouch jump, but even then I can jump higher than four blocks. Mm -hmm. Lane, I'm the same, but when it comes to like singing, I used to sing all the time, and I can't even remember when last I actually sang. But like, just sang songs, listened to so uh, music. At least you're constantly doing it on the server. <laughs> Sometimes, but I mean like actually singing old songs, listening to music and oh, stuff. You, were you a singer or did you, you train for singing? Uh, no, never try, uh, trained. Basically my bro uh, twin brother and I are self-taught. We, uh, we uh, participated in like music festivals and competitions and stuff. But we are completely self-taught. Were we supposed to climb down into this office, or are we supposed to climb up, out? What I'm actually really interested in right now is like ink and papers and stuff like that. Oh, oh, there was a hidden room at the back. Hello. Oh yeah, that goes behind stuff. Uh, I just realized I never grabbed my fetch. No, I did grab my fetch. Find supply. Oh, I think this one... Did I actually grab the supplies? Or uh, was it one of those where I looted inside of a bag? Because I can't remember looting, looting supplies. Looting inside of a bag. Ink, there you go. I have most schematics, but I'm still only looting for these yellow and black ones. Salvage tools. I thought salvage tools were maxed out, but it turns out that was my repair tools. I've been scrapping all of them because I was like, oh, I already have this. 
think this was a wandering wall they came through. Hello? Who's when were those zombies inside over there? I can't remember that. Ooh, took your leg off. I like how in Darkest Falls, cash is now actually useful again. In the past, you just sell cash. Now with that, you have to use the bidding machines. Yeah. I gotta make forge iron here. Keep forgetting that I have a drone, but the drone sometimes gives them away so much that I just never use it. I've got a bad feeling about this. And look at the amount of storage it has as well. Nice. Boom. Okay, that is unlocked, unlocked, unlocked. This one is a bad one where the zombies fall from on top. One of the harder quests out there. Nothing back there. You be careful of the elevators that can actually open up after a while. The moment I get down the range of it, all of a sudden everything's going to spawn in. Knock, knock. Come on, Ferals. Come on. There's definitely a wandering ward till somewhere, and I didn't see all of them. I'm actually expecting them to just pop in all of a sudden. They're going to... Pickle you from behind. <laughs> oh, hello, where did you come from? Ooh, hey, he's from outside now. Master, we are not alone. Are they stuck upstairs? I think so. Okay, done. Now I just have to get the final stash before all of these zombies break in. They're already breaking in all over, so what I need to do is actually block this off. Like, really focus on looting. We have so much brass casings, bullet casings. Same. I think I have 40,000 or something at the moment. It's a gunpowder that I'm lacking on. We have... Holy cow. Uh, Leno, that's a first. <laughs> I've been told that I sound like Jawoodle and someone from the Antwerp uh, mixed together. Uh, which is to me... Uh, so that guy was actually uh, complimenting me, but to me that's a, uh, that's a diss. If you actually Google the Antwerp and you see how just uh, they are. Like, there's one interview where the lady's actually scratching her head and just, yeah. I've got a bad <laughs> feeling about this. Uh, I've never been told that I look like someone else. Well, when I was younger, like, when I when I actually lose weight and I, you can actually see, like, the cut um, jawline and everything, I've been told that I look like uh, Keanu Reeves. Look, uh, Keanu Reeves, or what's who's the one that... No, no, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Especially my twin brother. He has a little bit of the skinnier face. Even if we are both the same weight and stuff, then uh, he has the skinnier one. I wish I looked like Keanu Reeves. Eternally young. Okay, that dude's immortal or something. <laughs> pretty much, huh? It's pretty incredible. Of course, he trains very hard, keeps himself in great shape, you know what I mean? But the, I, what I like about him is how humble he is. As rich as he is, he doesn't let the fame get to him. I mean, there's posts of it where he just rides the subway. It's actually super dangerous for someone of his uh, standing. Some crazies out there in the world. Okay, the Wandering Horde was outside of here. 
Okay, I need to accept one more quest, and then I have to go back to the base and see if they have... I, I think by now this stuff should be smelted down. Nope. See, this is the only problem with the buggy, the fact that it's so wide. It makes it really hard driving places. <laughs> I didn't even realize it, but I can make all the all the top tier weapons, uh, um, what you call it, weapons, knives. So do not need your help on that. Aging gracefully. <laughs> I feel like I'm aging like spoiled milk. <laughs> <laughs> But I am actually, I'm supposed to apparently weigh 83 kilograms, like for my side. But I mean, my twin brother and I, we were pre uh, born premature, like very tiny. We were always shorter than everyone in our grade. We were held back. Hello. He's inside the trader right now. What the hell? Uh, but yeah, we were held back a year by our parents before we even went to school because of how tiny we were. Must be my lucky day. Um, Thank you. We do this. And we also, because we had uh, like really bad asthma as kids, we used to take, um, is it cortisone? No, it's a cortisone. There's, a, there's actually a thing that, I think it's cortisone. There's stuff inside the pump uh, that actually stops or stunts growth. So we were supposed to be way taller, at least like 10 centimeters taller or something. But because we were just constantly pumping those uh, things for our asthma and because we were so short and stuff, uh, we stopped growing earlier like we stop everyone stops at like 21 or something right but because we grew slower it's not that we're gonna keep growing past that we just stopped so if you look at like how big my, my hands actually massive i wear size 15 shoe what yep but, uh, so uh only 185 centimeters five foot nine wow you're only an you're an inch taller. Hi, Joel. Why are you so low in the ground? <laughs> you seen better days. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. <laughs> He's saying, it's like a little kid just sitting there swinging his legs. <laughs> but yeah, apparently I'm supposed to weigh 83 according to them. But I mean, like with my bone structure and stuff, I'm just, I think 90 is like the cutoff because I was at one stage 90 kilograms, and I was like, I can't even I'm starving myself exercising like two hours a day i couldn't get underneath that and at the moment i'm 115 so i'm at least still 20 kilograms of a weight it's a lot and the problem is my weight doesn't really sit i mean it's a little bit pudgy yeah but it sits on my stomach it's like a beer gut thank you survivor check back soon i get new merchandise daily check back soon oh yeah uh jobs if we ain't got what you're looking for we can get it now all of these are just restore power. What? Wait, were they restore power earlier? I didn't even realize that. Can you help me with well? I keep questing during the night, but I have to make sure that we first go drop all the stuff off. <laughs> I think it's a UK fifteen. A U. Uh, I think that's yeah, in the US also like a 15, 16. Oh, we haven't been in group this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> but Oops. I think uh, in South Africa, they don't make a half anymore for men. They're like 14 and a half, 15 and a half. I think I'm supposed to be a 14 and a half. Because my I have actually actually very like a very broad feet. So it's like a size 15. But in length, it's more like a size 14. But there's no in between. So if I wear size 14, I think tear. It's weird. It doesn't matter what, which one I wear, 14 or 15, they tear different um, uh, spots on the shoe. For the one that always tears on the front, and for the one that always tears at the uh, like on the sides. I realize I'm going skew over here. I wonder how much lag I'd get if I were to put it to spawn in. Like, like the view distance a little bit further because at the moment I wonder if the, like the, how it spawns in the chunks has to do with your own view distance like if you can see super far then all of this stuff shouldn't spawn in as you're just nearing it I 
We get to make bad rockets before you leave base. That's why I made so much fuel. Yeah, I was actually, I've already made quite a bit. I need to put more though. Although I don't want to waste all my fuel. So I need to be careful. So these seem to have stopped. See, now I have the murky water, but I don't have the cement to go with it. All systems go. How may I help? I don't know what I'm going to do if my PC ever breaks, because that's my job. Probably try and see if I can't ensure it or something. And I hope it doesn't break before the like the grace period um, expires. This is something that, because it's my live loot, I can't you, afford for my PC. Did you ever break. like try and do uh, I don't know a GoFundMe to help you do it? GoFundMe I mean, is not in South people. Africa. You can't have someone set it up outside of South Africa. Yeah, but it has to be someone that you trust that's not gonna run away with the money. It's always a, a tricky thing. How okay, may I let's see. Um, while I'm here, let me just quickly grab this. Okay, I need to put in more clay. No, more iron and carbon. The clay should be enough for now. So, carbon uh, is over there, and then pallet of iron. I don't know how many of you guys uh, use WhatsApp, but there's this new chat feature in it that's just so bloody annoying. Oh my annoying. god, surreal. I was just reading your comments. I love you even more right now. <laughs> <laughs> what about the not being fat thing? Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't consider myself fat. I say I'm big boned. I'm so big boned, it's leaking out. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, vertically challenged. And... Like I said, my biggest problem is just my stomach. If I can fix that. At the moment, even in the gym, I'm not even focusing on weights or anything. I just want to uh, lose the weight. I know they say that it's easier to turn fat into uh, muscle. But I'll rather first lose the, the fat and then just build up the muscle again. My only goal at the moment. Okay, and then I should have enough ammo still. Yeah, more or less. Okay, so this one, a little busy smelting in. Mm, I should probably hang around around the base here. Let's just really do some upgrades while we wait for this to finish. I need to put more iron pellets in there if I have some. A lot of iron. Oh, okay, only four left. It bothers me how much I'm seeing that flicker thing happen on the screen. My fear is just that it's actually like the, the G, uh, GPU itself. But like I said, it can't be. Because if it's not streaming that thing going across the screen, that has to be the screen. Although that's bad because this screen, uh, a while back, for those of you who don't know, my screen was actually struck up by lightning. So um, thanks to a donation that Sam made, I was able to just get myself like a... Oh, it's, it's not like a brand new one. It is a second hand one. But I wonder if it wasn't just the Hong Kong one that someone sold me, because at the moment, with the static running across, I'm really stressing. Incoming enemy. Prepare for conflict. And I have to have... It's so much easier streaming with two screens. Being able to play the game here, look at chats, look at the OBS, and then having it in the background and having your cell phone to read chat. Ooh, much easier. Okay, this I agree is... 100%. Or... 
I'm running two monitors. I get to watch your stream on one and uh, play on the other. Ideally, I'd want to have all of this steel before the horde. But if I can for now at least make sure that I have all the blocks where they're supposed to be. And the inside, the gooey bit is steel, not concrete. That's awesome. I could have just used steel just an outer layer. But doing that, I was just afraid that they're going to see it as like a vulnerability on the inside. And I'm curious to see how it's going to go with like the nemesis zombies and stuff. Is there a dog barking on your side? The what? You, there's not a dog whining on your side, is there? No. Oh. It's weird I hear whining. You thought you finally heard what I was complaining about. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, he's right. Not that you were wrong about it, but... I'm hoping the fact that I'm not using any... Ladders isn't going to be a problem later. Ooh, I forgot. I have to upgrade all of this first to steel. Before I can place the second row. Basically, like I said, it has to be four uh, stairs at the back. Ideally, I want that side done as well. I want to push and put stairs oh, over here. Are you kidding me? Just to climb up this section of here. But if they start breaking these blocks that's holding up the stairs, that's going to be a disaster. I gotta make another one because that's that's ridiculous. And just realized I need to make vault hatches still. At least two where the zombies are gonna be able to get to us. You don't want that to be iron. Okay, what's gonna be short of the uh clay? Hello, hello. Hey guys. Hey, Killer Bunny. How? Hey, what's up, Killer Bunny? How are you? Doing all right. How about you? I'm okay. Enjoying the mod. When Joe's gonna be ready? <laughs> That's sorry. Uh, had to ask. One thousand dollar question. <laughs> yeah, I know, huh? Yeah, that's what uh, I was reading on a lot of people's uh, discords. For me, it's not like 81 one broke like a lot of things. Mostly, I'm adding a bunch of things. That was taking time. Basically, I'm transferring the mod from semi-overhaul to a complete overhaul. Yeah, that's a lot Everything. of work. Yes, sir. How you been? How how you been, Gene? I've been well. And you? I'm doing alright. Your new job treating you well. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Th thankfully um how is hell on earth so far Difficult. easy people have been complaining easy. it's not uh, yeah so far people have been complaining uh, well, it's, it's not hard enough um because uh, i mean I i've been doing better now in this series than i did in the uh, hardcore insane series but to be fair in that series i had a wandering horde every 12 hours every 6 to 12. so basically i was leveling up like crazy having massive game stage early on but now that I'm actually taking it, uh, th there's no one. Well, they're all wandering hordes, but they're not like the enhanced ones. And then also, um, yeah, it's just like normal wandering hordes and screamers and stuff. So I can still get them. It's just not going to level me up as fast. I'm actually thinking of having a little bit more of like a guns blazing um, experience. A lot of people want to see what happens when you die. Although I don't want to die, man. I have a bad feeling. I don't know. I, I've, I haven't actually read any comments on it because I want to be surprised. But I have this feeling that it's not just like the uh, nerd polling and stuff like that. I think when you die, you don't just start with 50 wellness and health. You also get stuff deleted. And if that's the case, then I really don't want to die. I don't think anything will get deleted and in insane. But probably like the health and water depletion is a bit faster than insane. I mean, he said that there's only an increased chance of getting infected. But when I get hit, it feels like every single zombie that hits me infects me. And the infection also spreads super fast. Although apparently it's in vanilla as well, but I'm not sure because that just felt way too quick. 
It felt like with uh, like in one episode, I went from like just just barely being infected to over twenty percent infected. Yeah, yeah, infection speed and death goes way too fast. Like I've seen some players playing this mod during, after the hold. I don't know, 20, 30 percent infected from the spit only, like birds and yeah. cups. At the moment, the biggest reason why I don't want to die is I don't want to start with 50% wellness and stuff. And that's also, I'm going to save most of my wellness foods and vitamins and stuff. I'm going to save. Uh, I'm not going to use them right now. Sure, you do need to get your wellness up. But what's the point of getting your wellness up if you die and you lose all your wellness anyways? So I want to keep those things to be able to help me get back my wellness instead of increase my wellness. Although there has to be a balance because if you don't increase it enough, you can die too easily. Be careful from the your own grenades, not only zombies. <laughs> yeah. You think there was a time where I actually didn't die from owning grenades at all? And then you realized it's because I didn't have it done to uh, kill everyone? Yep. People were complaining, why aren't you dying? I was like, I don't know. I genuinely didn't know why I wasn't dying from my own grenades. It was nice being able to and run away and Jean. just throw a frag in your own face. And now, Gene, forgetting about this option. Hello, baton cop. Master, we are not alone. I wonder how far I should take my uh, video series. I definitely want to take it past 100 days so I can make that 100 days survival video. But, I mean, if I went from searching for two weeks for a hazmat mask to already having wasteland gear and being able to go to the wasteland. This mod is a very slow progression, but as soon as you have that one item you're looking for, the progression speeds up. Have you started getting demon and demon bosses in DF? Nope. Ethel? I hope that's not a thing. Uh, it's, that's game stage related still, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's um, 450 and higher. Yeah, I remember I started over with my... I, I, I was doing the Darkest Falls Hardcore Insanity. And then to do this new series, I had to start over. So I'm on day 4 at the moment, I think. Your reaction to the laser M60 to able to craft it was nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Especially with how rare it was. On the server, we'd, uh, we'd give it to one person that's really been looking forward to it, but we just couldn't find it. Or we get like a level 20 something. What's that? The laser M60? Laser M60. Now oh, you can yeah. craft it in Darkest Falls. Oh, hello, hello, hello. So after this update, Ken will be adding like the custom zombies or replacing all the vanilla zombies. The new one. That'd be awesome. Mainly because of the hitbox. There's few zombies, like you know. At least it seems he's also fixed the hitboxes for the um, succubus in Matriarch. Yep. I didn't even know that there was a bug apparently that made the incubus basically immortal. I was wondering why, because we definitely on the server had issues with him. You couldn't melee him, you couldn't really shoot him, it was really difficult taking him down. Now it makes sense because he was bugged. Apparently he stopped taking damage after a while. And he, uh, he still took damage but very slowly after a while. But you're shooting him or hitting him and hitting him, he's just uh, powering through and just attacking you. And... Ooh, they went out of here. How is the Horde Knights and Ravenhurst compared to DF? Um, easy. Even late game when you uh, get like Nemesis zombies and boss zombies, as long as you have a good defense, you don't have to worry. But now, I think Darkest Falls, it's going to be a little bit easier now as well. Since the hitboxes on the, uh, the Incubus and uh, the, uh, the Matriarch and um, Succubus have been fixed. And then since the Demon Lord doesn't do that AoE thing anymore. I mean, obviously you have to you kill him. You're saying this, but imagine like if there's the demon lord and all the zombies like hitting the blocks over and over and over 
Yeah, but that, uh, even so then, as long as you have a nice defense, like they're parting properly, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, if your parting works perfectly, you don't have to worry. Oops. It would be a different story if they aggro really easily or something. And even making like the 11 block base doesn't stop them from going for the pillars. I miss being able to make a toothy base or something, being like eye height on the floor with the zombies and just shooting them, having them uh, approach you from all sides. Now you can't do that, your base is going to get wrecked within a few seconds. You have to make an, an elevated base now for it to actually work properly. The Phantoms are happily to announce Seven Days to Die is leaving early access after like 13 years. Are you joking or is that actually posted somewhere? That's actually officially posted in Seven Days for um, twi Twitter. Wait, what? That makes me worried because how long is this game still going to be fun then? <laughs> So basically, let me join us with Dave P, co-founder Richard, another second name, in this video with details on seven day to die plans to leave early access. The launch date for PC and console, Alpha 22, now 1.0. The roadmap of planned feature, future updates and features ahead for all platforms and the games. But I think it's just like a, a plan. They're going to say within, are they, are they want to do this within a few years or something. I don't think they're going to be like this year or next year or something. Hopefully. No, there's no way. There's no way. They they're still... Do you know how many things what over the years the they've actually years? removed? Promising to put it back in after a while and they still haven't done it. Like uh, sm uh, the meat smelling and stuff like that. Now we're cooking Man, again. there's few features that I wish if they, you can bring them back. The but... trees falling and killing people. Like the realism. Exactly, like that's one of them. Also, no, no, like no. a gun pass that has quality, and you know, like an A16, and determines your your item level. What else? Okay, how you build the vehicles in A16, like build a mini bike or other vehicles. That the system was perfect. I really miss the old alphas sometimes. And even A16 was much harder than now. Be right back. But I wonder, they actually said that they want to add like, um, what's it called? They want to add bandits and stuff like that. That's still far away for them. Master, we are not at that time. At this place, I'm gonna have to run and gun. Almost night time, which is really, really, really bad. Look at all the ferals all of a sudden. Almost tense, I have to hurry. That did not sound like she went down. I'm in the middle of the city over here. Doing a yeah, quest and now it's okay. gonna turn nighttime. It's okay, you can handle it. You're right, I'm a pro. Is that cop? Oh, outside. Did you just start a fire somewhere? Yep, you start on the side of the building. I had, I logged in <laughs> the other day, and there was a nemesis boss, uh, one of those, uh, just a boss one, not a nemesis boss, inside the base. I was like, what the heck? Inside your base? Two yeah, he broke two blocks to get in. My senses have how do you do it while you're offline? I don't know. Nobody was on. That's just it. Unlucky Unless form. it happened when, like, and, like yeah, there's that. Or it happened when Iron Man was on and it just 
kind of jumped it to my base. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I hear so much noise outside right now. Just quickly is crappy. Oh, okay. The reward for it is... 1644 dukes, one magazine I don't need, one tactical sword, one completed melee training, chain reward none. So this is the last one. I gotta do another 222 kills with it. <laughs> see what the reward is when you finish a class. I wanna see if it's worth actually starting a new one. Which one? Like uh, what class are you busy with now? I just told uh, the blades. Blades. Like when you're done with that, uh, tell me what the reward is for actually doing a class. At the moment, I feel like there's no point in doing classes because you just have to level them up on your own. I'm gonna get, it actually gives uh, you rewards. It does. It gives me a level one, 1,000 tactical sword, a complete melee training book, and a magazine plus bonus tokens. So you get a you get a level 1,000 sword on that one. Let me see what I did here. I'm gonna go back to other brawler weapons training. I got a level 1,000 fist. Master, we are not alone. I'm trying to go back. Rifle tra brawler training. I made myself a magma, but I don't even know if I'm gonna use it or not. I should have actually brought it over here just in case I needed it. Hello. The rifle training, you don't get anything, you get bullets, bullet casings. That's dumb. That that's should give you like a sniper rifle. It didn't. Blunt weapons training. Especially with how rare the sniper rifle is. I got a Lucille, which sucked. It was, a, it was terrible. It was supposed to be uh, an epic bat. I still have it somewhere. The melee training... Let's see, disassemble, 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 disassemble. I did a lot of disassembling. <laughs> Hello, zombies. One weapon is training. If you can make a ward base where you actually uh, monopolize them, just running straight at you, you can just do headshots. That'd be awesome. These zombies came running up to me and I, could, I was like literally at their heads. But you have to make a base where they can't just jump up and smack you. I need to make a base over here somewhere for when I die so I don't have to run two and a half kilometers to the the other base. I wonder when, uh, when you read it just now, did you say when they're going to be doing that live stream? I'm sorry? Uh, Killer Bunny just now, did you say when they're going to be doing that live stream? For the A21? No, I, I didn't hear him say it. I think at the moment, like I said, it's just them discussing when what their plans are for the future. And you know, if they say it's going to take a year, it takes two years. Come on. There you go, repair tools. Okay, after you do this. Oh, did you see if I can't get a quest all the way south? So I can quickly stop at the base. Okay, now to jump down. I gotta go do quests for Wrecked. I only tell a tier 3 with him. But I really should take all my stuff and just head towards your your base. Put a, put something down and just quest around there and build up. You know what? Yeah, bring ammo and stuff as well. I am. Prepare for the horde. I think because we didn't like talk politics and stuff in the previous stream, it actually finally didn't demonetize the video after. Well, that's, you know, that doesn't seem fair. Because, do they have so many people talking politics on this, on here, on other YouTube platforms, and because you're a gaming person, or... I have no idea. Someone said that might be because I was talking about um, uh, ad blocks and stuff. 
but I, I can't see that being the reason because uh, before that even and, and uh, if that's the case then my last stream should have also been the same but it wasn't last stream was fine oh I forgot to make rockets oh well many things you proved to be very resourceful here I got a, I got time. What am I doing? South, 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 Savage Country. Can you do me well already? Let's get the I have to stop at the base and see if I can make more steel. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Hello, blue guys, yellow guys, and all around feral guys. Oh, they actually heard me, damn. It seems for some reason TBF Gaming has a bug. Every time he climbs on a vehicle and off a vehicle, his um, helmet light is off again. I know, he, he was mentioning that in his stream, this just recent one. Apparently there's going to be another Ravenous update soon. Hello, boss. Okay. Um, but it's going to be the last one before Alpha 22. I even tried stopping in time just now, but it wasn't enough. Eviscerated that boss. Oh, I hate the shaking screen. Woo. You need me to bring any mat? Uh, nah, should be fine. I'm just making a ton of steel right now to do some upgrades and repairs and stuff. I have to make more steel because I brought all my steel over to the other base. I should get that running right now. Need carbon. Wait, why is this still here? That wasn't there before, was it? Okay, let me just quickly check the steel and stuff. Uh, I put stuff in my vehicle, didn't I? Yep. I have some weird raid repair kit or health kit that I haven't used before, but it says that I have the uh, recipe unlocked. Okay, cool, Zero. Uh, let's see. Awesome. See you then. Oof, I gotta go iron farming. My god. Wait, didn't I put some ammo in you? Yep. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of armor piercing ammo. It's a shame we can't bundle them like in Darkness Falls. To save some space. Okay, so let's see. 295. That's still gonna take a while to craft. Put more at the back, and I'm gonna run out of iron this time. You need more iron. I can put a pallet in there. Okay, I put that. Yeah, I think I put the iron stuff over here. Oh, that's. Okay. The carbon's also running out, so as soon as that's done, I should put that in there. This one over here needs iron and... It's gonna run out first. Clay. The carbon's gonna last a while, so I need to put some clay and some iron in there. I can do this. Although, I should probably start crafting them as well. 
Because it is the day of the hoard, so I need to I need this now. I can still smelt in, it's just gonna take longer with the uh, tools not being the correct ones. Okay, 20 minutes, but I have 30 minutes worth of stuff to smelt, so we'll do that. That's 20 blocks worth of steel. I have 31 blocks worth on me, and set myself a light. Thirty-three minutes. I wonder if I shouldn't just for now, but, uh, but we don't have iron loose because I just put all of them in pallets. The pallets are nice to use, but if you're smelting them down, depending on the resource, it takes forever. Hello, hello, zombie. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Probably pick up all of these. Where you're, yeah. where you're at right now, your base. Yep, base and home base. Okay. Oh, I have a treasure map right there. Clouds. Maybe I'll go check that. It's out. awesome how how you can jump if you have parkour maxed out. One, two, three. Why are you on fire? Why well, I can jump five blocks high. Um, I was uh, standing on the forge again. <laughs> I thought you I could only jump four blocks, but look at this. I can jump five blocks high. Damn. Concrete. Oh, yeah, I was making more concrete blocks. It's a shame how much you slow down if you're not running on asphalt. I'm actually thinking I'm just putting asphalt floor over here so it's easier to move at my own base. I still wanted to put the bars and stuff over here. I don't think I have enough concrete blocks to do the roof. Oh, come on. The roof and that. Do you want me to go back and get some? Yeah, it should be fine. I, I, let me, I think let me just finish the roof first. Basically, what I want to do I'm is... Already, I'm on my way to you now, so... Yeah. Basically, what I want to do is I want to put bars at the back of here so we're able to see Nemesis zombies from the back. But I also want to finish the roof first before I keep doing any other blocks. Dang it, I should have made the Marauder. You say to yourself, okay, when I get back to the base, I'm going to make this, going to do this, going to do that. And then you get sidetracked to start. Look who you're talking to. Else. That's very true. Okay, let's see. So the roof is done. We shouldn't have to worry about any bombers and stuff. Although I should probably make sure that I put have hatches over here all over the place. We do have two inside that one box, but I need to make two more. And this can get destroyed. Basically, the zombies are going to come up the stairs. They're going to run straight up over here. Straight through of here, and then since they're running in such a nice straight line, it's more it's easier to shoot them. I wonder if I should make those two blocks on the bottom steel as well. Okay, then this side, the stairs are more or less done. Let's do the back side quickly. The problem is some zombies are dumb enough to just get stuck over here. Technically, I need to fill all of this in, put the other side in as well, and put some um, ladders in. Since this is over here, we, they should be able to... If they come from the north, they're going to go for the stairs over here. If they come from the south, they're later going to be able to take that side, but they're going to go for these stairs over here now. Same for when they come from the east, they'll be able to come up over here, and if they come from the west, they'll be able to come up over there. But the Nemesis zombies, even at the other base, love getting stuck behind stuff for some reason. Happened way too often. Oh man, I forgot to put those away. Darn it. Oh well. Alpha 22 will be 1.0. I wonder if that means like beta 
So it's not going to be alpha. Uh, technically, it's alpha 22, but it's going to be beta 1.0. Because I think often alpha, it's usually beta. And then if I'm not mistaken, well, the good thing is since they're going to be doing, um, technically, I'm, I'm actually worried about like how long seven days that I will be um, uh, viable. Because I mean, my whole channel is just seven days that I, but at the same time, at the moment, because there's so many mod releases, so many updates and stuff, I'm constantly doing new mods. But I'll be able to focus on like fewer mods for longer duration uh, once the game actually goes stable. So I won't have to worry about doing like this mod now, the next mod next. And it's just like a constant stream of mods. But on the one hand, it might actually help me if they actually go a little bit stable. Because when it goes uh, beta, they're going to actually start uh, optimizing the game. And that's, that's good news for all of us. Finally, we won't have too much lag and errors and stuff because now they... But the problem is alpha is when they add stuff, remove stuff. The fact that they say they're almost done with that, that's scary because they still have so much left to add and remove. They still want to do bandit. They still want to do like new zombie models and stuff. That's alpha. That's not beta. I don't... They say this, but I don't see it happening for at least two years. I need to do that side as well now. Come on, come on. Over After here. the horde, yeah. I'll focus on getting that side done. If I can kill like a ton of zombies, get a ton of red bags, and hopefully a ton of steel blocks, I'll be able to then go and just put the uh, rest of the stuff steel in. But I'm going to need hundreds of steel blocks if I want to do this. Well, um, if after a horde I pick up any steel blocks, I'll give them to you. I mean, if you if you need to use them for your base, you can keep them. No, I got about four hundred steel blocks right now. <laughs> I've used two thousand steel blocks, so um, yeah, it, it goes to show how easy it is to use them. So make sure you uh, I, use uh, them for what you need first. You run through them really yeah. easy. I know. We had almost nine hundred steel blocks, and I used it for the the horde base I made. Can I put a, a storage box down in here? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Um, just be careful when you walk into the door. If you just slide it to the left, you're going to get uh, burnt. Okay, I'll go to the right. Give me five minutes. That's still going to go. This is 11 minutes. That's not enough. How about, is up here in this corner fine? Yeah. Holding supplies, put this away for now. I'm gonna keep questing while I wait for the stuff to smelt and finish over here. Where the hell's my drone? Is this mine or yours? That's yours, where's mine? Perhaps it didn't follow you, perhaps it took some damage. Oh, come on. Okay. So, I took a rifle, which means it's going to be pipe rifle. I wonder what the rifle progression was again. It's all the way back at my base. It's pipe rifle. Then it is... I think lever action is next. I've got a bad or marksman. About this. Well, I have a hunting I'll rifle and I have the lever action, so I don't have to worry. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, it's pipe, hunting, lever, lever action, and sniper. Oh, I have a sniper. Let's see. I can make you one if sniper, you need it. Sniper, sniper, sniper. Yep, I need one. Just in case I can actually go through the whole progression during Horde Night. Oh, you're gonna try and do it during war. Yep, that's why I have, I'm making a ton of um, frag rockets. So I can kill loads and loads of zombies at the same time. Why do I still have Molotov? Holy shit, I got... Yeah, I do, and pie bombs. 
I have quite a few frag rockets over here as well. Got a whisperer and a zombie? They don't fight each other? No, the whisperers Church. and zombies don't fight, nah. I think it's because they're wearing like a zombie skin, so the zombies don't know they're actual people. Holy cow! Passengers. Crucible required. When did I take that one's crucible away? I could have sworn I had it there the whole time. Who joined us? No one. Somebody came in. Uh, no, it's still just Killer Bunny. Oh. Really, guys? Really? Oh, it's bellows. I'll put this in a way over here for now. On the one hand, I need to finish the stairs at the back, but on the other hand, if I can just finish the bars here, and I'll be able to see the nemesis zombies. My senses have picked up something. He passed perfectly just now, but if there's too big a group, that's what I'm worried about. The hatches I'm still making, these I want to place. Yeah, technically I should be okay for all night. I'm a little bit worried at the back of here because that's not, uh, the, it's not supposed to be this way. I'm actually thinking of making the whole back of here just stairs. But then I, I'm wondering if I shouldn't just go for concrete shapes and then steel on top. As long as I put two blocks of steel and the rest inside concrete, it shouldn't be like a weakness. Although anything being held up or being carried, I have to make that steel. Like the stairs, the pillars holding the stairs, all that stuff. Other than that, I should probably make the stuff inside steel as well. They're going to be vomiting at this. Don't fall. Do not fall. Okay. I'm mostly going to be in this. Uh, because everything on this. Uh, oh, there goes my drone. <laughs> it's weird how the drone actually goes to you. It follows your steps. Instead of just coming straight up to you, it actually went where the zombies are supposed to path. Okay. Um, I never noticed that. It's the... This side is the side we're going to be uh, facing the zombies on, so I'll put the bars here first. At least the nemesis zombies can't reach you through bars. They can reach you through scaffold? Well, I, I don't know if they can or not. I wonder why I we... I think it was this, uh, the scaffolding for the roof since we have to worry about like the pipe bombs and stuff. But I feel like pipe bombs are supposed to be able to fall through the floor over here. Like through the, the bars themselves. <clears throat> Although those pipe bombs explode on contact, so it's a little bit of a different story. You yeah, were able to stand over here and see for Nemesis zombies, yeah? They're saying like possibly um, the game at 22 coming in June, in two months. Yeah, two, three months. It's gonna basically be for uh, uh, July fourth or something like the release date. June, July. They usually uh, put it on like uh, July fourth to have like specials and discounts and stuff running. I think they're gonna increase the game price, but they're gonna make it like last discount probably in, in one week, two weeks. So you think they're gonna recharge us for the game? No, no, not us. No, uh, have, the console. We... Oh, okay. And if you don't have the game already, no, they're no. gonna make the price more expensive. More expensive for who doesn't doesn't have the game, who who has already bought the game, no changes for it. Okay. On PC. Unfortunately, on console, you're gonna have to repurchase the game because you're gonna rebrand it as like um, 
you know how Minecraft has like Java edition and stuff? Basically, they're gonna nope. do that for. I don't know anything about Minecraft. They're gonna. Uh, I have not played one second of Minecraft. Full darkness. Uh, full seven days to They're gonna make it so that um, that, that, because that, that's a very old game. Basically, it's this is a brand new game that they're releasing to people. Oh, for the console. Yeah, it's basically a brand new game from scratch. So they're gonna charge people extra for it. And even if you have if the console version, brand new with the PC. I think uh, they'll charge you Yeah, more. I think there's going to be like a, a discount sale in the beginning. But the overall price they're going to start bringing up because now it's going to be out of alpha. So they'll be able to... Man, uh, they are hungry for more. money. Yeah. They are hungry for money. That's the steel finishes of the year. Finishes of the year. But I need to start doing a smelting and like a ton of stuff that takes forever. And then I need to go mining again after Ward Knight. Yeah, I gotta go for iron again. At least with a tungsten pickaxe, it gets so uh, it gets so easily. Especially if you drank a coffee. And I cannot find damn Wolframite. <laughs> I was actually able to get Wolframite back the very first try. Sure, rub it in, why don't you? I can actually share my mind with you if you want, because it dazzles a lot inside. And it's huge. Oh, that would be wonderful. I'd love to make some tungsten stuff. I want to make tungsten arrows. That's um, wolf chair ally. Probably also keep some steel on me for repairs of here. Um, repairing, uh, let me just see this. Okay, I need screws as well. It's a good thing I tested that just now. Oh, yeah, to repair the steel hatches? Yep. Yep. Screws. And if you have any iron uh, iron hatches, I would bring iron. Oh, you don't have the craft room containers. I won't do I anything have because I have... Oh, you have craft room containers? Yep. I thought you didn't do that for that uh, area. No, but uh, I have it on... Um, so I can craft stuff easier, but uh, because I'm so far away, I haven't locked my boxes yet. I'm just locking it now. I should actually always keep it locked, get into that habit. I felt so bad for Rip in the I beginning, I had all of that forged iron. <laughs> Back when forged iron was hard to get. I, um, yeah. Alright, where the hell's the stupid drone? I didn't tell it. Why is it? I did not tell it to stay. I must have hit it by accident. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm probably also going to have to make like multiple of these blacksmith forges. I have to make like a second story and then uh, land my helicopter on top of that. Because I want to make sure that I'm able to have like multiple forges, either making steel or cement or something. I should be able to go out and have some fun quickly before the horde. Ammo. My caliber. We're going to be diving in here anyway, so I'll just drop these over here. Make sure this is still cooking. 14 minutes, 15 minutes, yep. 15 minutes as well, awesome. And then we're this. Okay, uh, I think I have another hatch somewhere, so I have to just make two more. And at this stage, I'll replace those with steel. At least the two front ones that where we're going to be standing, those are already steel. In case they make it over. I want to make sure that the roof actually has hatches just in case something lands behind us. Or on top of us, like the pie bombers and stuff. Oh, and then make it in without us realizing. This will actually be a good test to see if the design works. Before I put it in the second side. If I finish both sides and then something fails, I'd have to go and change both. 
I'm really hoping that uh, w uh, when they say it's gonna be hello boss uh, when they say that you're gonna go um, beta or out of alpha that they're gonna actually optimize the game I can't wait playing and not getting any lag at all I don't think it's good. You're always gonna have the, lag. Oh, but if you look the at that AAA title, the, the main reason the reason of lag is the AI and the how they build it. Yeah, but I know, but uh, in a beta they're supposed to optimize the way that runs and stuff. I hope. I hope to be able to make the game and make like 100 zombies spawn like one big horde without lag. This would be fun. I don't know if you guys seen Imagine. the series Z Nation. I want that amount of zombies. Oh, yeah, I know it. I know what I mean. <laughs> There's that one uh, like a, z a, a zombie uh, wave coming and they had to um, hide in the morgue. Like millions and millions of zombies just passing through. That'd be awesome. Yes, sir. Or whole night with 250 zombies at once. Whoa, I mean, I'm whoa. doing that on my single player Ravenous. I have like 100 at, uh, active at a time. Come on. Aramis actually made me a modlet uh, so that I can actually have 96 zombies. And then for that itself, I put it uh, max alive to 100. And so far, it actually works really nicely. And still, damn it. I, I made one change. Um, max number of zombies alive for like zombies 48. That's oh, when you're playing man. solo. But server 64 made it highest thing. Just make sure four. it is actually 64. Because at the moment, for example, on this server, the maximum zombies alive is 64. But we have way more than 64 alive at a time. That's also why some are so laggy. Do you know how I made it? To the fight, XML. There's like like number of uh, number of zombies that are alive. I made it to the highest 164 for the Blood Moon. So if you're playing Seba or Solo, you won't get more than 64 at all. Well, that's actually good for lag. But the max alive when it's not just all that, just all around alive. Well, this one it's 60 set. I said to 64, but I can feel I can. Basically, we can do like two different infesteds over the map, and there's still zombies walking around outside while we're doing the infesteds. So the, the way they spawn the zombies in this mod is weird. Uh, that's too much. Ooh, <laughs> a really crappy drone. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Oh, send the invite to Victor. Already did. Yeah, I can remember. And, uh, the luck picking pet getting buffed a lot in 822 Apocalypse now. And the crowbar is getting nerfed. A bit. What? Oh no, not nerfed. The crowbar is still like alright, but the pet is getting buffed. Like, I added like loot quantity to give you more items inside the set than lockable items. So if you lockpick, you get better uh, loot. Like in Darkest Souls. Not better. Double loot. Imagine you get 100 loot. Cash. So yeah, it's, a perk, pack, it's a perk for then um, uh, lockpicking. You get more loot. How may I assist you? <laughs> Doubles the loot. Yeah. If you get 100 cash, you get 200. Using lockpick. Okay, don't need these boxes, don't need this box. Just the final stash and the hidden stash on the roof. If this was early game, I'd take all of the cloth and stuff of here, but now that I'm so far in the game, it's just some stuff that you just don't need anymore. I still have to ask Kane about the lock picking and crowbarring and um, on the server. I'm not, uh, in Darkest Falls now. Because in the past it used to be, um, a, a lot of people comp uh, uh, argued with me, but 
the power attack for the uh, for the crowbar and the lockpicking gave the same good loot. But now in the patch notes, it shows that uh, it, it says lockpicking and then busting open something. So it's, it's two different things. But now I want to know, does crowbarring still count as busting it open or is crowbarring still like lockpicking? Because it doesn't show that in the notes. It's uh, crowbar, it's busting. Yeah, but in the past, uh, oh, using hello. the crowbar wasn't busting. Well, if you, if you do the power attack thing when it instant opens. Because people are arguing with me saying, no, uh, it's only lockpicking, only lockpicking. When I ask Kane, he's like, no, it's lockpicking and the power attack. Because they, uh, they, uh, when you power attack, there's a chance of getting a screamer. So it's like, do you really want to take a chance? Don't you? That kind of thing. But in the latest updates, it doesn't say anything about the crowbar. It just says busting open, which I feel as like a sledgehammer and uh, pickaxe. And it says about lockpicking. So I want to verify with them whether it's still the same or whether they now made it only lockpicking. Because in that case, it's not even worth doing the crowbar anymore. Because even with a crowbar, as long as you left click, um, you, uh, you can open up boxes and stuff still really fast. Although obviously if you don't have lockpicks, until you have lockpicks, the power attacks actually still work. Six AM on a Sunday. Better hey, Joel, you dog, you. What are you doing with that zombie back there? Here is your reward. Brand yes, logistics. Just help him out a bit. Oh, he's standing on this light over here. If it wasn't for the light, he'd be falling through. Master, we are not alone. Hey, Tony, welcome to the stream. I just realized that you've been talking as well. Um, this many zombies is just too few. What do you mean? I'd actually prefer having uh, being swarmed by zombies as like just one or two zombies. That's why I like in uh, Ravenous the amount of zombies just all over the place. But it does get laggy because of the amount of zombies. I feel like the uh, the, the zombie spawns in uh, Ravenous at the moment is still broken. Even if you set it to 64 alive, it feels like 300 alive like in Darkest Falls. Um. Let's go. Pitch and clear. Oh, hello. Holy shit. They are going to sell the game for 45 bucks. What the? F 45 bucks. How much is that at the moment? 25. I mean, the amount of money they've, uh, or the work they're putting into it, they have to charge something. But at that price, there shouldn't be any bugs. And you know, <laughs> there's still going to be a bug or two. 45 bucks, that's too much. Like, I know some games that would really good rating. I'm really, like... But I'm hoping... Cost that much. I'm just hoping that um, it's not going to go gold. It's going to go beta. Because from alpha, it's supposed to go beta, then gold. Because if it goes uh, gold straight away, then you know there's going to be like errors and bugs and stuff inside still, and it's going to be hard to fix. If it goes beta, the whole point of beta is like optimization, seeing what they can make it run smoother and stuff. Hey, Ayla, how are you? Hey, Ayla. Been a while. Can you hear me? Hello, anybody? Can you hear me? Bob? I can't. I gotta... Hold on. I hear you, and I hear you asking for Ayla, but I don't uh, hear Ayla. Yeah, for some reason, my Discord went out, and I couldn't hear anybody. You and me just now. Huh? Even me just now when I was saying that I hear you. 
Yeah, I didn't hear that. I saw you light up, but I didn't hear you. What if there's an update or something? It's locked. It's locked. I hit a cactus and lost 4% on my vehicle. That is so stupid. Like, Gene, what I'm saying, like, there's some games that, that recent review and all reviews, 95% and higher. Like, Detroit Become Human is, and it's for 31 bucks. 31. Why 7 days is 45 bucks? That's just being greedy. I'm also saying at that price, they have to make sure that it's running smoothly. If they can just reach the Minecraft community, because this game has so much potential. If you look at how active Minecraft still is, and that's a, a game that's already been fully released. It has updates now and then and stuff. That's already been released and it's doing really well. If uh, Simulator Star could be the same, that'd be awesome. Well, I think Minecraft, they listen to the community. At seven days, the fun fans, they don't. That's the biggest, biggest thing. You guys hear me now? Yep. Hello. Sorry. No. I, I got my computer built a few days ago, my new one, and I just forgot to set up my push to talk and which mic to pick from. So you were talking, but it wasn't picking up a default one. Yeah. Yeah, it was on default and it wasn't picking up my condenser mic. Ayla, have you seen the BSTFP posted? I saw the post i didn't really i didn't watch the video yet they're releasing the game completely yeah i saw that and i'm just really hoping talking about the price i'm just really hoping that at that price and the, uh, the fact that they're releasing it on uh, console and pc that they're I'm really going to be putting attention and love into the game What's if, the they price could, if they could just market it properly that'd be awesome apparently it's going to be 45 dollars Really? Yep. I mean, yeah, 45 is not a lot, but it's not cheap either. Some games are out there $70 a piece, so I get it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm glad I got the game for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I got it for free because it was a gift. <laughs> yeah, when we bought most of ours, it was on for buy one get one for your friend free when was that oh uh six years ago five or six years ago a long time ago they had some kind of a deal thing where you buy a copy get a copy free i mean when i do my giveaways and stuff i, I usually wait for a sale otherwise it's too expensive but now at that price i'm really hoping they're gonna have sales and stuff where am I supposed to? I saw it as well just now. Where I'm supposed to go? They would. Sh they should. With you bigger streamers, they should put game keys that you can do out there. Well, they actually have during uh, the alphas, like uh, Alpha Twenty Two, when it comes out now, the early access. They do give you keys sometimes to give away to people. Incoming okay. enemies. Prepare for conflict. I should actually make sure that I um I make sure all of the notifications and stuff are enabled so that when they re uh, talk about the early access and stuff, I can actually see it. Wrong glasses. La, 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 la. I just wish they could promote me. Basically, this is what uh, what they are doing: how to be god diggers without saying you are a god digger. <laughs> I mean, I get it. They have to make their money and, you know, they want, that's the reason they get behind it. But you don't, you also don't want to alienate the fan base that you have at the price point that you started. You know, 20 bucks. I think that's very reasonable, even on console. Like heck, but like if you made like the if the game that has zero bugs or and no, no like say minimum bugs and barely any lag, it's worth, it's worth the forty five bucks. 
but right. like in current state, it's so buggy and laggy. That's why I'm wondering about what Alpha 22 is going to be like. Probably. I imagine if they fully release it and still buggy and lags. But that's why I'm so thinking at that price range, they should have probably optimized it a bit for Alpha 22 release. Otherwise, they, they couldn't justify charging that much. That's why I'm kind of curious to see what they did with Alpha 22 when they release it now. Although Alpha 21 was basically... No, but they did add a few things with Alpha 21, but at the same time, it was mostly just moving over to like a new engine, I think. Careful of landmines. Sometimes in warehouses like this, you don't even pay attention to the floor and then boom. But it would be cool if the fun films could uh, give me a shout out in Alpha 22. No. Wake up and all of a sudden I have like 10k subscribers. They should shout out anybody that they that streams them and is on the streamer weekend should get a shout out. That's just what I feel about it. Be the fair thing to do. Actually, I asked the one um, fun pimps dude that I have on Discord. Like, what should, what can I do to stand like more of a chance of getting a shout out? More go. vanilla series, or what, what should I do? Oh, do I have Boba, an extra sleeping bag? Hmm? Boba. No, it's uh... Well, on Discord, the dude's name is Cheesebro. But he's one of the Fun Pimp star. During the Alpha 21 release, he was in my uh, Discord uh, talking about like, the bugs and stuff. Apparently that one uh, instance where I died in the prison, they were sharing that around the office. Like how I got stuck and I couldn't move and the zombies were killing me through blocks. Oh, that was nice of them to show your pain and suffering in the game. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit more, um, uh, what they're called. I'm going to take more chances, basically, in my current Darkness Fall series, but I'm still not going to try and not die. I'm, I'll take more chances, but I'm not going to take any dumb chances, because I still want to be able to not have 50 wellness. Be careful of landmines. This one, this section over here, I was supposed to have a zombie full in my head. So I wonder, are we supposed to go this way? This doesn't make sense. Gene, um, there's a game on discount called Night of the Dead. 40% discount. Night of the Dead. They just had like a new update. Story part 3. And probably you're gonna love it because it's a little bit similar to like 7 Days Holes and Bear System and Defenses and stuff. And Crazy Zombies too. Come on, zombies. Come on. I'm gonna give you give to you the game. Just see so you try it. Some thank you. I definitely need to expand uh, my channel be, a bit more. That that should be your first non-game recording. 
brand new, put it out there, I'd watch it. And every one of us would watch that. First is time, it, like, is it like uh, similar to I where you can progress and stuff? Like an yep. open world kind of thing. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, what's it called? Because I just want to see if I don't already have it. Night of the Dead. No, unless it's called something else. I do have the one where it's like vampires and stuff. What's that thing called again? The Infected. I like the, I love the building and the exploring and stuff in Seven Days to Die. If more games had this kind of like where you can place blocks, make bases, that kind of thing, that'd be awesome. Bro, I'm using VPN and instead of paying $14, I'm going to pay for $4 because I'm using like connected to India. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, hell, yeah. imagine you think, oh, I'm, I'm putting one over on them. All of a sudden it's an Indian uh, version. Like the language and everything is Indian. They're like, yeah, you're from India, so you, you can understand this, right? Damn it. Make sure I grab all the resources, especially the cement at the moment. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of zombies over here. Woo. Depends. Is this there? This is just a fetch and clear. You can actually see them all standing over there. My senses have picked up something. At least this Joel is in decent shape. <laughs> oh, hello, Joel's behind me. The Joel's by my base is terrible. Well, this one is actually hiding from us, hiding behind the counter. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's this one. It looks like a kid just looking up at you. Like a puppy dog trying to get food at the, at the dinner table. Okay. I keep killing zombies with my wrong, uh, the wrong glasses on. I want to level up, man. I also want to try and make myself a farm so I can start getting some XP elixirs. I'm hoping this base uh, brings a lot of zombies in. Because the higher we get in this uh, mod, the harder and harder and harder it gets to level up. I'm gonna do the cracker book. We'll have time if you... Right? Yeah, we have time. Since you'll be uh, out of there soon. I'm yeah, I'm at the final stash now. Hey Rick, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna head there now. I can just dump everything on my vehicle and join you there immediately. <laughs> um, TBF was really happy about the fact that the um, buggy has so much more space. Oh, he was happy about how fast it went, too. <laughs> I mean, the fact that he went from a one-row dirt bike to an eight-row uh, eight um, buggy is a lot. Yeah. Is this for this trader, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, I have to quickly stop my base for the... Um... Yeah, my base is super close to it. I need to quickly stop at the base for the anti-radiation uh, anti stuff. I should probably put mine inside. It's a shame you can't lock slots inside the drone. Because then I can put all of my, like, uh, like a spare healing kit, uh, the armors and stuff, and just lock those slots. I could have sworn there was a mod. Is it the Wasteland mod? There was a mod where we could actually lock the slots like that. It was awesome. Wasteland. It was the Wasteland mod. I loved that. You could have three and drones and you could lock the slots. Three drones, you're right, exactly. It's like, you got three drones here. Woohoo! I had one for medical, one for weapons. <laughs> well, 
Oh, hello, Nemesis. I love the size of these bosses. You don't smack me. You're gonna smack the shit out of me, aren't you? Oh, okay. Even had to repair my gun or reload my gun just now, he wasn't gonna smack me. If that was the uh, mutated looking red one, that would have definitely smacked me just now. Oh wow, this place is destroyed. This is the cracker book you used, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> well, it's getting reset now. Ooh, I might be able to finish my tier uh, tier four with them because you're doing a tier six now, and I've I've done it a few tier four uh, fours and a few tier threes now for the tier four. Oh my god. Right now, my the stream, I'm watching you. You're gathering resources in that place. Damn, that's far that's behind. I'm already in my how, base at the that, moment. That's how far behind I was. I'm now dropping my other brass into the container. Okay, so ammo. Do need to take more of that? Oh, hello. And then water. Not Food and water. Oh, armor. Almost forgot the armor. Hello, hello. Damn, the difference in speed is visible. Welcome back, killer. I don't hear when people leave and, um, like, come back. No? Nope. That's not like, huh? What are you guys talking about? Ooh, Marauder. How's it treating you? It's got 10,000 uh, health. I love that. Look at me. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right. I'm just trying to get um, what you call it with my knife. My What the heck? What's getting me? Where'd you come from? Come on, one hit and he gave me. <clears throat> one hit, infected, and a freaking abrasion. Really? And now I'm down to 198. Well, at least if I take a food, I can bump it up. Have to wait till the abrasion's done, though. I've noticed the traders don't really sell any, um... XP elixirs. And none in their, their machines, either. Yep. Well, no, no, they actually sell it, like, gen, like, one every now and then. But in the vending machines, there's yeah, nothing. I get hers. Yeah, in the vending machine, nothing. Okay, here we go. Let's go guns blazing. Okay. Pistol. There you go. Oh, Jesus. We have a horde. Oh, no, we have a boss. Oh, okay. That's nothing then. I thought I, I saw some come in with them. I was like, oh. I think it's just random zombies. Uh, that is a weird. What gun could I try to craft or find that would take five fives? Should I just break it all down? I just break all of it down because not uh, I found a tier four um like great quality gun, and it was weaker than a T uh, than the M60. I feel like the tier fours are supposed to pack a punch, but no. Nope.
crop that fell down. I don't see him. He's gonna explode in the staircase. Is he? Damn, this crop is, uh, yeah. It's with the knives. Toilets on me. Gene six M. Gene, check PayPal. I'll check now. I'm gonna make sure this floor is safe. Yeah, we got them all. Uh, you still have the books over here. I'm not after any books. I just want to get it done. Did you get the other books as well? No, I got one and then I was like, nah, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> I'm just going to drop back that side then for those books. I'm still making myself all the perk books because the class is you can just level up any gun just by using it. And the nice thing is you can use a, uh, if you find a red gun or someone can make you a red gun, you can just use that gun to level up all the way. You have all the, inf the stuff for the sniper? Yep. So I can what the heck? Oh, you're already up here. I'm just going past you. <laughs> I pushed oh, past. Oh, you did? Yep. I had no idea. Look at the fun over here. Look at the fun. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot to do. Yeah. I'm trying to get the rifle back to Mac. Who are you speaking of? You. Oh yeah. Step behind you. I'm working on... I got... The only thing left I have is... Uh, repair tools and sledgehammers I have to get up to Max. Oh, There's still red dots in there, be careful. Got the dead and see you enjoy it, suffer. Cool, thanks, uh, Killer Bunny. I'll definitely, after this, uh, check that out. Just remind me also on Discord the name of it. Because you know my memory. <laughs> Bro, it's the threatening of the day. <laughs> How bad my memory is these days, I'm gonna be like, the what of the what again? I wish I could find the next seven to die. Like sometimes I wish I was playing this flag from Alpha 1. But I'm actually glad I joined from Alpha 9 because the game was basically a little bit more put together. Master, we are not alone. If you could be there from the start for the uh, for the next like seven days to die, um and get known for that game as well, that'd be awesome. Night of the Dead. There's still so many mods and stuff that I want to try, but it's just not enough time. Yes, yes, we are not alone. Okay. Where are they? Oh, hi! In the bathroom. No, one of them was coming up the steps. 
I don't know where the other one is. I hear a screamer. I can't. Can. Uh, red dot. Let's see. There was one of these ones on the floor. Not fully dead. Oh, that explains it. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Oh, I thought you were already up here. But the zombies there say no. I always get myself confused in this place. What? What the heck? What if I've cleared a place just like two or three times on my own, then I never forget. But I like figuring out like where to pass to and stuff. Oh. I was already in here and didn't go up the stairs. <laughs> that was stupid. Wow, all of a sudden I have such an itchy nose. My eyes are itching right now really bad. Yeah, I have a problem with my, my mustache. Um, I have a very hard beard. So my mustache curls up. Uh, or like a very dry one. Curls up into my nose and then just itches my nose. It's very annoying. Incoming, John. For you. Really? I don't know why I'm getting so little sand. I mean, I'm using a tungsten uh, shovel. Master, we are not alone. But I understand cement. These pellets of cement barely give you anything. I've got a bad feeling about I'm this. through the door. Straight line, straight line. Oh, and I have to reload. Oh, behind you. Where did you come from? The ceiling. Oh, I hate when I miss the jump. I can jump five blocks high, so I bumped my head so much or so easily. Yep. Stupid bird. I like the worst. Look at him now. <laughs> I got a feathers as he was falling. Oh, no you don't. There's no cop over here. There's no cop you said? Nope. I missed it, uh, the days when the tourist's uh, audio file was the uh, the cop. The cop used to make this noise and then they gave it to the tourist and gave the cop a new sound. Where'd that one go? Enemy. Prepare for conflict. What? Oh. Lock pickets for you? Let's see what they give me in this infested chest here. What? Level 900. Oh, a robotic sledge. Level 900. We can put that at your base. I'll just give it to you so you can put it down. The military is open. Magnuson's open. You said you don't want the books, right? Nope. Here, take this. There's this. 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 And this. Thank you. Oh wow, the sledge actually drops as red. You see it? When it's on the floor, it's a red, it's a red bag. It is? Yeah, look at this. If I drop it on the floor... Um... Oh, look at that. I wonder huh. if different colors drop different things. The pink machine gun? No, machine gun doesn't show Surreal. a color. Surreal! Welcome, hun. How are you? 
Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Done studying for the day, for the night. Yeah, I'm tired. I give, I, I take my hats off to you. Do you still want to go out and study? <laughs> I can't even oh, imagine please. myself studying at the moment. It is very annoying, but it's worth it. It's very annoying. The streamers up here, uh, up here with us somewhere. I got a tier one car fifteen level eight hundred something. Is it a shame? Weapon. Even the best of the tier four weapons is way weaker than the M sixty. Oh, we we have to. We don't want them. Drop that in there. What else can we drop? We can drop that to take that. Drop that. Well, now high I can fall without taking damage, but I don't want to take a chance. <laughs> you won't break your leg, you might die though. <laughs> I tried it funny the other day. Can't break my leg, but I can sprain it. Whoa. I actually want to ask TBF whether he's using a um like a dual PC setup for his streams and stuff, or a single one. Because I've noticed in his recordings and stuff, he has like all of the reflections and everything on. Do you be able to? Do you, do you be able I to have all of those reflections on? That takes a lot of um, computing power. Yeah. He has all the. Um, he keeps the fog on. He likes to realize it. Realize it. Well, then again, now he's uh, turned it off because uh, for recording purposes, he says it's better. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But uh, that's the thing. A lot of people have told me they don't wouldn't mind me turning it off, and other people said no, but that's realistic. Where's that? It's a zombie game. It's not realistic in any way. <laughs> well, there's uh, stuff that's like zombie ants and stuff in the world, so... Where's that nemesis? Oh, no. He's you tell me he's inside the prison. I definitely had the Nemesis uh, debuff just now. How's your daughter, is it real? That's good. That's good. Glad to hear it. Yeah, 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 baby. So you're not coming back to Alpha 22? Um... I don't know, I might. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to unfollow somebody here on Twitch. How do you do that? Did you just stick the same follow know. thingy again? Ooh, robotic turrets. And uh, that's not a great enough quality. Okay, what do I want to put in the Marauder? Little tier 4 waterworks. Oh, it's rent a car. Best to clear. Do me if God's I'm quickly gonna run through this building of here. Oh, I have to hurry up now because it's uh, already 3, 3 p.m. My senses have That's picked fine. up something. John. Yeah. Found it. You can't help me with something, can you? With what? Um. I was coming home and I don't know exactly how it happened, but I got off my vehicle beside my place and. My vehicle is halfway under my building, like in my building. I have to oh, break like no. about uh, probably just... ten steel blocks and hope I don't break it. No, 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 wait, so I'll be there now. Uh, let me I'm just like, park what the at heck? How am I place. in the building? <laughs> yeah, that's a disconnect where it's, uh, when you jump off without stopping all the way, then it just keeps going sometimes. That happened to me. Uh, I got stuck in like a raiding or something, and I didn't even have to destroy the whole raiding. It just popped out on its own. Oh, this building. Shotgun, steel pickaxe. Yeah, and I just quickly teleport yes. over there. I'm at your base. Me? Yeah, I'm at I'll my base. I'll get it done. When are you guys starting a new server, anyway? Uh, well, Alpha 22. Hopefully by then that? I can actually afford a, a, like a second server, then that way I can uh, run both. Because this, I think this server is still going to be uh, in for a while. 
right here. <laughs> you see it? I can uh, take can you unlock out it? Of it. Yeah, please uh, do that and then unlock it. It broke. Imagine. Here you go. Thank you. Stupid thing. Um, where's my vehicle? I've got a bad feeling about this. No, I have, I have had the next quest already. Just to teleport to the right one just now. I turned that off, right? Yeah. Um. I'm not gonna grab another one. I'm just gonna go around town and get my uh, knives up. So go ahead. I haven't seen this pure iron so long. There's probably a right and wrong way to kill this place. Stay away from my vehicle. Okay, this is a clear areas quest, so just do path everywhere and hope for the best. Locked. Unlocked. The nice thing is they'll come for me. I could have sworn there was a right way and a wrong way to pass through this place. Leads to the back. This leads to the bar. Yeah, I think with this one you're supposed to break down doors. It's annoying. The last time I did this one uh, was back when the demonic behemoth was still not like the big. But he was, he was basically the big boss, the demonic behemoth. Now he's like what third in charge. Oh, I hate these back doors. First time I heard a guy say that. Let me just let you sit in that comment for a while. <laughs> no response from anyone. Not even a laugh. That's funny. It's not a demo. I'm even leaving gun boxes and stuff behind because I just want to make sure I kill all the zombies quickly. Sometimes there's ferals and stuff in these back rooms. I need to be careful. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. This I'll definitely loot, thank you. Three, four p.m. and be careful. I can remember once I did this, there was that uh, skinny fast behemoth in one of the hallways. He just chased me down. Terrifying. Where's my best place to get nitrate? I think that's the snow biome. I think one of these fools are supposed to cave in. Stone. But very little. Yeah. Same with the limestone. I I'm constantly running out. I've noticed though that when I need limestone, I need to go to the forest biome. Get more that way. Shamway, shamway, shamway. Crap. You know you can find like uh, fertilizer and uh, nitrate at some. POIs, but I don't know which one. Um, that is the Grace POI. Is that? 
Yeah, Carl's Corn and Bob's Boars. There used to be cement, but now it's just, um... A ton of nitrate. Hit these fake floors and stuff. I need to be able to pass through quickly. You know where every single fake floor is. And some of them. Just because I've uh, fallen through <laughs> my, on myself as well. Some POIs that I thought I knew, I, I don't. I'm like, wow, I didn't know that. Maybe they changed some things up. Keep it exciting. In Alpha 21, they have changed a few POIs, like the layout of them and the design of But I, I don't like some of the design changes. Some POIs are so much better in Alpha 20. I want to loot these so badly, but I don't have time. Ooh, hello. I can't remember which one of these floors, but I know this this over here is gonna cave in somewhere. I remember because there was a behemoth chasing me back uh, way back when, and I was able to get away from it thanks to that floor caving in. Did you run so fast over the floor that the behemoth fell through? No, I fell through and because ah, there you go. Because uh, because I was able to fall through, I was able to get away from the behemoth. I found it. I remember back when the incubus zombie used to be in all of these rooms. Like getting a uh, demon royalty back then was a really bad thing, especially in pure eyes. A lot of people want to see me die and suffer and stuff, so I need to probably just play a little bit more reckless in my current series. Although I still want to try and not die. Like, take chances, it has to be a very close call, but not a death call. Been over here, right? yep. I really like them moments in streams when they die. Not because I want to see them suffer, but it's just like... You know when a TV show ends something on a cliffhanger? That kind of feeling. People like when I go, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It just makes it, I don't know, <laughs> more exciting. I thought I was being annoying sometimes doing that. And people are like, no, we yeah. want to see more of that. <laughs> okay, so. And you fall down this side. Basically, this half My of the building isn't done yet. I've already been there. It's not showing me any arrows, which makes this so much harder. I don't think we've done this side of the building. See, this side to the left, I think, is untouched. Touch it. I'm downloading Ravenhurst now, by the way. That's what she said. I'm downloading Raven first next. But don't expect it to be much use on that server. It's fine, we'll use you as like cannon fodder. <laughs> we'll use you to escape. <laughs> I'll be running out of stamina and you guys are just a whiz for me. Well, one thing's for sure, you have to be not fully geared up. <laughs> I won't be on much, like, I do want to, um, I'm nearing the end of the year, so I do want to study every day. Just Relax a bit. Yeah, yeah. I've come on the weekends, but I want to make sure I can give it my all and not waste my time. Couple of, couple of weeks left. Maybe five, six. Cancel them. <laughs> five shots to its face and a miss. Every single shot. <laughs> I don't know 
glad that I'm not loading Sam's or Rex very good. Like, I can't even drive into that spot, because the second I get from Joe's onto the road, my vehicle wants to go down into the dirt. Oh, I hope that area is not corrupt. I know, but from where I'm sitting here at Joe's, I can only see a little bit of Rex buildings. The rest is just, like, flat. And at, um... Are you sure it's not a connection issue, perhaps? Looks weird. Mm. My you're, you're, only yeah, which yeah, but it's horrible. jump. No, but it's seventy nine one hundred five. Seventy nine. It's jumping up and down. I think that's what's causing the problem for you now. Did you say you got a new computer recently? Um, Ayla. Yeah, yeah. I just built. Um, I just had it built uh, three days ago. Oh, cool. Got a forty sixty in it. Nice. I know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. It's a video card. Ah, very good. My old one had a 3060, but this one's got a 4060. Technically, for this game, I need an NVIDIA card. This game doesn't really like um, AMD much. You keeping your old one, Ayla? Uh, my son took it. Nice. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> and his computer, uh, he has his old computer, which is really old, had a 3060. He upgraded to a 3060, so now he's got two 3060s in my, in my old one. Nice. Oh, he's running but, dual, huh? Yeah. But his, uh... Look at uh, you, ladies. Fighting to get in to see me. Thank you. Who mm. wouldn't, Bob? What's that, Europe? I said, who well, wouldn't? Oh. My Making heart is blush. all a flutter right now. <laughs> <laughs> is this Siri or Alexa? Alexa? Uh, <laughs> is is uh, joking because of Siri? Drill? <laughs> hey, Siri, what's the time? I do know what Have you seen the one video where I oh, say, Siri, what's the time? And he's like, uh, and then she's like, uh, who's Siri? I'm Alexa. <laughs> and then when he says, okay, sorry, <laughs> Alexa. Uh, when he says, sorry, Alexa, um, uh, uh, the thing's just like, no, who's Siri? He doesn't want to basically, let it go. Basically, they, they do it like, Alexa, say this, this sentence, and they say it, and they like, you know, clap it. Cut it, and... Yeah, no. I mean, it's, I mean, like, it's, it's funny when uh, he's uh, talking to um, Siri, but uh, it's actually Alexa that he has. The jealousy. It reminds me of the drone in Simon and I. <laughs> this drone is. You gotta cool. hate that voice you, I added for the drone A22. You know, like, um, not a gaming gamer. Uh, Daphne, you have. I, I you added have her Daphne's voice. Daphne's phone. No, no, no. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm, I'm looking for... Th there's a park like this in the middle of the city. I think it's in the uh, Super City map of Darkest Falls. And there's a bunker underneath. I want to go explore that. Daphne. Oh, hello. He doesn't know what... <laughs> Bob? Yes? How can you call yourself a gamer if you've never played Minecraft? I've never played Minecraft. Boo. I played it a few times, but not that wow for me. Oh, yes. I like modded Minecraft. I'm just like seven days to die. Exactly what I'm playing right now. It's way better. <laughs> Though sadly, a lot of the Alpha um, 17 mods were better than the new mods. I'm playing the better Minecraft. You know that mod? I've heard of it. It's really good. I really like, like, stuff. like, stone block. The first stone block is one of the best. The second one's okay. Um, the, uh, dungeons, no, dungeons, dragons, something, and ice. It, it, oh, yeah, that was really old one. Awesome. That was a yeah, really yeah. good mod, but they never made it again. Ugh. 
Yeah, no, I've been trying to get dragons and stuff, but... Have you guys played uh, real life Minecraft? Oh, I just died. <laughs> RL. RL Minecraft, yeah. Or, no! What's that like? Uh, it's like full of monsters it's and stuff. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's like D playing DF, but five times worse. Yeah, it's Dark as <laughs> Fools for Minecraft, basically. <laughs> cool. Well, why don't we play that on a server? <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> you're basically like one of, uh, I think, two of all the members that actually plays it. <laughs> Guys, anyone knows here Night of the Dead? Heard of it. The hell is hitting I me now? Fucking skeletons. I want to watch Gene playing it. Man, this game is insane. Guns, workbenches, zombies, giant zombie stuff, traps. Like, you have like minigun traps, you have like. Plasma to You're gonna love it. But sadly, this game is not getting like a lot of attention yet. Like, it's not as famous as Seven Days. I think it's been out like for two years until now. Damn. I don't creepers. Or, or four years, something like this. Let me see. That's basically how I feel about Seven Days to Die. It's not getting enough attention. Okay, let's put ammo away. These seem done. I'm gonna die Come again. On. God damn it, stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, it is. You die stupidly for so many reasons. Where's my buddy? That's stupid game. <laughs> God, that was still a game. Have you ever Creepers. played Pokemon? Azure? No, what's that like? Is it Pokemon with Minecraft? It's Minecraft Pokemon, yep. There's no zombies no, and stuff like that. But you're catching your pet catching Pokemon, the legendaries and all that. But yet you get to play Minecraft for like um, dungeons and building and mining that stuff but That's you're mining cool. for stuff to make pokeballs and the machines have you played um what's that new one called oh it's not pokemon but it is pokemon oh pal world yeah thank you yes yeah i like pal and uh, yeah pal world's awesome where's my body now i keep dying Game's ridiculous. <laughs> Early game. I have so much coin that I keep forgetting that I have so much. Okay, so it's almost time for the horde. 8 p.m. Oof. Uh, did I have any more concrete crafting? Yes. Have sworn I also had another, yeah, patch. There you go. I'm probably gonna miss the first 10 minutes of, of Horde. My family's coming back and they have a car full of groceries to bring in. You just have to make sure your AFK is somewhere safe you like in the corner place? or something. A corner up in your base. Okay, so this is done, this is done. Technically, all of this needs to be steel, but for now it should be fine. Now. Let's make this side, because this is side is going to be used a lot when they fall down. All this at least needs to be steel. I'm hoping the floor is fine, because the floor is basically all just dirt. If there's too many demos and stuff, then yeah, that can be a problem. Probably also make sure I save some steel. 90 steel should be enough. I want to save some steel and some screws on me so that if they do damage of me, I can just repair it. Technically, I need to put a ramp block over here. If the zombies try and stack on top of each other, they'll bump their heads and fall back down. Oh, 
Okay. And then as for the rest of the blocks, we already have the whole roof in. I'm kind of curious to, to see how well this is going to work. Come to your base now so that I can make the sniper rifle for you. Okay. Just let me know when you're close because I need to unlock the box. I don't think I'll be able to finish like all the kills, but I should be able to get quite far. I am. Um, oh, yeah. 400 meters out. The rest of the bars will go on this side of here after I put more floor in. So you can stand over here and you can actually see if there's any nemesis zombies getting stuck at the back. You'll be, able, you'll be able to just shoot up in any vultures. The only problem with this uh, block is the fact that you can shoot it. If you shoot like this, I just hit the block. I didn't hit it through. So you can accidentally destroy your own roof without meaning to. What is this place? Why is it in... Well, I'm hoping my helicopter isn't going to get hit by all of the vomit and stuff. I have the boxes unlocked for the guns. Where can I put my Marauder, you think? I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put mine. Because I have the other lights mod on. I'm gonna put mine around the pillow over here so I can just see some lights on the zombies. Alright, I have mine too, see? I don't Where think do mine's actually mine? on, because... Why Here, is it not right? Oh wait, where's my mods? Oh, I put it on the uh, the helicopter. I'll put my vehicle right here. Perhaps if you go on the other side. To the Sorry. north side. I'm gonna quickly gra uh, grab that off-road headlights mod so I can put it on this vehicle. I knew that I had the mods, but I was like, where did I put it again? How's that? Yeah, you can actually move it back a bit if you don't want zombie smacking on it. They shouldn't, but just in case. Okay. There we go. On this. Just making some mollies. Leave my place by quarter past nine. Yeah, I'm going over to uh, Iron Man. I thought uh, he's telling you to, I, I, thought he, I thought actually he's telling you to just please be out of my place by then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Kicking me out. Okay, yeah. so let's see. Don't pay Make a dump right. uh let's put beer. I'm just gonna go grab everything and go hide in the base over there. I'm full up on food and everything, so I'm trying to level up my batons and hitting things with a pipe baton, not a good idea. I'm going to throw mollies. Hope to level it that way. Oh, speaking of, I need to keep water on me. I guess I get set of light. Alright, where's a good spot to stay? Uh, in the wood base. Yeah, yes, in the wood base. <laughs> Just uh, any corner, perhaps. Especially on the side that doesn't have a walk, uh, doesn't have a staircase yet, on the left side. Uh, right there. Right there. High caliber explosives. What's smacking something somewhere? Gun repair kits, I have eight. Hopefully I can get over to his to be able to this. Yeah, you guys are close to each other, so it should be easy. Yeah, no, it's just that for some reason I couldn't remember I couldn't go past um the wreck. Oh yeah. And you haven't tried relogging it or anything. No. Oh almost forgot my rocket launcher. That would have been bad. I forgot to make that sniper rifle for you. I have to log out though, I'm sorry. It's fine. I still have to go through all the other three kills anyways. Yeah, that's... 
You could have stayed like inside. Six hundred eh? kills. Oh, that's right. God darn it. That's why I went to the corner. <laughs> A shotgun has mods on which I can put on this if it breaks. If it breaks, I need a secondary gun. Let's go for this one. I'm coming! No, there's another. Okay, M60, there you go. Okay. Be right back then. As soon as I log in, hopefully it doesn't take long. They're gonna yell at me. Oh well. <laughs> Why are you guys smacking on the back of the pillar? I want to make sure this is disconnected so during the ward night, zombies don't try and climb up here to get into my base. Okie dokie. You want to close that item, man? I presume that's him. Yeah. It was the capital C that would have been, um, phone. Okay, anything on my bike that I still need? No, it's a crab. Yeah, Craven yeah, is I'm in. Yeah. yeah. You want to close it up? Come here. Yep. I'll be right there to close it. Hello, okay, let's see how this is going to work. Charging my headset. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should be all set to go. Basically, I can stand over here and shoot rockets. Or I can stand over here and shoot to the window. Or I can just stand straight and shoot straight as they're coming for me. The options are endless. Probably also just make sure that when I'm shooting, I can swap. You know how the NPCs, you could always tell them to stay where you're standing? I yeah. wish you could do that with your drone. Is tell it to stay where you're standing. Yeah. It never okay. wants to come exactly where you're standing, so it's still always in the way. Wait, why you is can my... just put it off in the corner and tell it to stay. No. Still yeah, you how wanna... do I get it to come to the corner, though? Oh, that's just, that's the tricky part. <laughs> yeah. Open the door. Oh, Open that door. Oh, right run to go, the corner. Just go through the door. And run to the corner, look around fast, and try and interact with it. It's going to try and circle around you. That, that might be good right there. I forgot to keep uh, with the POI I just did. I told the drone to stay before I went in, before I teleported oh, to you. No. Have you ever forgotten to tell it to follow you again? Yep, just <laughs> just now. <laughs> it's just sitting there inside the building waiting for you. Okie dokie. Five skill points to spend. Let's see. Demolition expert. Whoa, he actually made it far just now. They're parting perfectly, yes! Oh! Come fuck! I hit a mod in Minecraft where if you put more stuff in, all the trees fall. Or all the tree falls. I don't know if that'll work. That's awesome. Okay, now to be careful of snakes. I almost forgot about that. To wait for way more zombies to show up right now. I watched him hit me. Hit. Oh, that's a nemesis already at the back. I'll make sure I take him down first. Come on, dude, died. Oh, he did. I'm gonna take down the body just so the music goes away. There are still a few zombies over here now. Yeah, I wanna be able to shoot like this. Oops. I 
man your way, or you'll be good. I wonder if that was fast enough. Let's see. I knew that would happen. I always like to burn myself. I'm not good with Molotov. No, yeah, I'm not shopping I, fast enough. They're pretty tricky. Yup. Yeah. Oh, I set myself up. In an actual zombie pocket. <laughs> Good thing I have a drone to heal me. And threw it inside again. I need to time it right. I need to throw explosives right there and swap back to my gun before it goes off. And it's not as easy as it sounds. That's 13 kills. I don't think I'm swapping fast enough for this. At least they're pausing perfectly. That's a good toss right there. That's perfect. That was a good, yeah. Didn't hit me. Any toss that doesn't hit me is a good one. <laughs> Gene, you have the weirdest gun collection, like five guns, rocket launcher, M60. Yeah. I'm trying to level up the pipe uh, quest. It's a, it's a kill quest of pipe rifle. But it seems you can't um, crawl away fast enough from the machine, from the rocket launcher. Sadly, I haven't got one kill with my baton yet. Yeah, yeah, I can just stand in a straight line and just shoot. If I had a sniper rifle, that wouldn't be a problem right now, but because it's a pipe rifle that I have to use, it's a little bit difficult. You're not getting any kills for, with your baton? No. I, I switched my baton every time after I threw the thing, and, and I haven't got one kill yet. There's a That's can odd. somebody else killed it and they're holding it. Get it out now? No, you have to do it on yep. your own. All right, let's. I'll let it run. Let them run through. Then I'll see if they can't get on fire. Okay. Oh. Oops. One kill so far. Still nothing. I got one. I wonder what the deciding factor is. You have to be the one to kill him. The person that's doing Alex? the quest. I'm trying to do the same over here, but I'm not killing them fast enough. Oh, I got a second kill, finally. Third. There's actually very few zombies uh, uh, appearing at the moment of here. I just don't know why the cop vomit always uh, goes the one direction. It goes to, uh, like, to, uh, to the south, but then it comes all the way to you to the east. I always do a good one when there's no zombies coming. But yeah, I don't need just time to just wrong. 
It was time, oh, it was timed okay, and all of a sudden they just uh, run away before it explodes. Alright, folks, I'm gonna need for a knock, take care. Okay, good night. Good night. Oh, yeah, Jay, don't forget to buy the game. Yeah, I'll definitely, after this. Repair this gun before it breaks. Is it a shame that I can't use the rocket launcher, but it's too close? The moment I shoot with the rocket launcher, you have to be able to switch. But I don't think it's fast enough. That was 23. Still 23. And I definitely killed something just now, so I'm not swapping my gun fast enough. It's a shame you can't throw it up. I should uh, actually focus on more contact grenades and stuff, and not the um, frag rockets, it seems. At least the, with a, a grenade, it takes a while for it to actually reach the zombies. And you know what? Um, yeah, upstairs might be able to throw too. I want to see if I uh, if I'm far enough away from them, and I swap in time. Nope, it's all in twenty five. Actually, the zombies are so scattered. I'm getting so few zombies at the moment. The only place I can actually really throw grenades and stuff is right here, where they're falling. But I have to throw it just as they're falling, so that when they stand up, they get a hit. There's a lot of zombies coming right now, so I do this. Put it right there where they're walking, do this. At least I know the pathing's perfect. Because even though I'm on the roof, they're all pathing up the stairs properly. And it's been a while since I didn't use ladders in my base. Just as I was throwing my molly, the stupid spider jumps up at me. Oh. In your boots. Bad timing for you, good timing for him. <laughs> Some of them are just standing still chilling on the side of here and the back over there. Damn, if this rifle was slightly better. Oh, that's a demo. That's not good. Oh, I never put the sledge down. Probably focus on doing the quest later. Just focus on killing the zombies for now. The next horde, I need to make sure that I actually have um, more contact grenades. Stop me shooting me. I wonder how many I can actually make at the moment. I have craft from the container on, so I can actually be able, I should be able to check. Um, what? Fucking Christ on a stick. Contact ammo. I think I'm too far away to be able to see. My base has a defense, so I'm actually kind of curious to see if I were to go to my base quickly. Contact grenade, how many? Oh, I need forged iron. I want to run to my base, craft some forged iron and come back here. Let's just focus on killing as many as possible for now so we can get those red bags. At least at 2 a.m. that's when the most zombies start appearing. Oh, 
Come on. They do actually take a while to get to us, but at least when they get here, they're in a nice uh, straight line. If I had an actual sniper rifle, I think I should be able, I would have been able to one-shot them. And if I actually put... Um, I might actually be able to put some mods from the shotgun on this one. The nemesis somewhere. That just looked like she had something in her hands, but that's impossible. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? That was a waste. I was paying attention to the HP, uh, to the durability for a while, and then I forgot to check. Oh, yeah. Damn. Well, there goes an M60. Fully modded. Oh, well. Just have to make another one, right? Well, I have a spare on me, but it's the whole... Expensive, man. It's expensive. I was actually looking at the HP the whole time, and then all of a sudden, when I'm not looking, it breaks. <laughs> what I should actually do is take the pipe rifle with me. Uh, on quest, and just make sure I have, like, a silence on it so I can uh, stealth with it. Bob even gave me a level 900 um, ledge and I, I forgot to put it down. I should actually be able to use my shotgun at this range. Then, now, then again, I took my mod. Uh oh. Now. You got fire again? Uh huh. Best thing I always found to do with something is uh, fully do the full uh, bar. You know, when you throw it, make sure the bar goes yeah. all the way. It, I think it's glitchy any other way. If it's, you try to throw it half or what. Jeez. I'm up to 28 kills, Old but that's goodness. still... We're having a total of like 30 Molotovs. That's not that great. I made so many frag rockets, but I can't swap the gun fast enough for it to count. Yeah. Fortnite over? Nope. It's like 1 a.m. Yeah, it is. Come on in. <laughs> I'm all set. I'm at his face. Just need the invite. Gotta make this stream interesting, right? Ah, what the hell is hitting me? Away with you, Spider. Fuck. Can I get an invite, Gene? I sent one. It just started. What's that thing that throws Molly? Yeah. Uh, it's here. The spider. Being carried by a um, vulture. Where the hell is this? What was that? I killed it. Okay. It's oh. um. It's red bag is on top of where your um, oh, mining things are. I hear the boss music, but I don't see the nemesis. Is it right underneath us or something? I oh, know there he is. You blew yourself up. Yep. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, now I have to wait. At least he gave me some more zombies. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. I'll be back when it's over. Okay. This defense is actually for like a big team of people. Ego, boom. Oh, what's he doing over here? Is, that... Is it really not possible to swap fast enough? Ouch. Where would you, sir?
Heal up, Ayla. I'm gonna make sure I get some of these cops and stuff. Oh, come on. There's a crawler by my feet. Come your head. Oops. 35 kills, not bad. Ooh. Especially something struggling with a. Uh, Explosives. I wonder if I stand on this side. Oh, wait. No, uh -oh. no, 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 no. We'll have to make a hole through, my, um, uh, through the base. Because there's a nemesis zombie stuck on the other side of my wood, uh, of my home base. An explosion. Come on. Okay, now that boss. Oh, something just exploded. As long as that was not a vehicle, like uh, all vehicles, that's okay. Because oh, it's not, but now the boss music is playing in the background. I hate that. Nope. The kills are counting because I'm definitely getting XP, but because I'm not swapping it fast enough, I think that it has to be solid in your hands for it to count. That boss music over there now. The corpse is still over there, so that's why I'm getting a boss music playing right now. I'm gonna have to make another plan if I want to use rockets. Perhaps like make a, a towel or something. Sniper's nest. The fact that that boss music is still playing at the back over there, I want to quickly go destroy that corpse. Now this uh, disappears just as I get here. I'm hoping they're not going to destroy our buggies and stuff because they're exploding all of these vehicles over here. Hello, all you zombies. You beautiful, beautiful zombies. Stop oh, hitting my floor. I have to make a plan with my home base. I think at the moment they're getting stuck at the back. If I actually make this uh, whole base on pillars or something, that's work, but a little bit better. Ooh, there's a purple zombie around the corner. A purple zombie? Yep, you're five. To lift a bit more. I think they caught on fire just now. Even this pipe rifle is awesome if you do a headshot. Hello, purple. Purple, purple. Okay, so, um, that group over there. Bolt nurse fell down. Okay, don't have to worry about him shooting us anymore.
cop spit at me and took his head off. Show him who's boss. I figured oh. that's the quickest way to get him to stop spit. <laughs> Remove the device. Oh crap! That got me. Whoa! Watch out! Fall back! Fall back! Oh, I was wondering where this dude was. Got on fire too. Damn it! This boss music thing is really not good right now. And they keep getting stuck behind over there, which is really bad for me. It's easy to run over there and kill him, but I hope he's not going to despawn in the morning. Whoa. There's a potential well, red the bag right there. Oh, I wonder. What was that? There we go. I think they're dead. Oh, killed them. Nice. Wow, completely eviscerated his corpse and everything. I'll definitely have to make myself a tower to stack up on so I can use my rockets. And still get it to count. If I had a contact grenade right now, I'd be done with these kills. What I can do is in the morning just equip my rifle and try and pick off the remaining ones with the rifle. Oh, Bernie dude, hello. And that is why I made this overhang of here. Probably have to use TNT on my base to be able to get the holes that I need. You able to line them right up real good, Ayla? Sometimes, yeah. In the blue moon, the one's too short, and then I move down, and I shouldn't. I should just shoot at one at one level. Come on, boss, I need to kill you before morning. What happens if you don't? After you fight him, your shots are screaming shrap. Kind of damage the two uh, explosions did. Uh oh. That's... There's another nemesis somewhere. Still a lot coming. Yeah, that's good. The more the merrier, I say. Well, that was nice. Ooh, that was cool. Did I just shoot through two of them? Oh, I'm using all my piercing rounds. Even though it's a pipe rifle, it's still doing quite a bit of damage. I think I got the last of like the snakes and crap on the ground. Okay. 76 kills. 
77 kills. I just need him to shove stuff in my butt. You really don't want to say stuff like that around the real. <laughs> Did you know I was going to? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Just say you, you can rest. Every time what? something, uh, every time something questionable is said, we're like, yep, uh, where's the real now? <laughs> yep. Where is that? In comment. Can you open up so I can shove my stuff in my bike? Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Just watch for any wandering hordes. Start with 20 each. Sounds good. I wish I had that many bags, but there was almost no oh, zombies over no. here. I've got to set it so I don't drop over. I'm at. Oh, there's still a snake. A snake. Six. Eighty-five kills. Oh come on! I keep shooting over this dude's shoulder. Did you need any magazines for anything? He's healing himself. No, you don't. Under the hammer, I need nothing. But on action skills, I could still use repair, wood cutting, salvage, um, robotics, spears. Yeah, and that's mainly it. Whoa, ragdoll. Athletic. Finally. Do you need that? Okay. Nope, I'm, I'm good. There, I got 20. Is that snake? I saw a big ass snake in the stairs of you earlier. Probably just first drop my stuff off. I'm gonna have to open this up so the zombies can just pass right through the base. I don't need these hats okay. for anything. There's probably what about ten more maybe? How many we got? Yeah. Yeah, because there's six on the side here. Okay. Um, that goes on the shotgun, shotgun, and you have another silencer. Shotgun's too loud without it. Okay, let's go. The steel blocks. The baggy still has stuff in as well. Well, I need one more. Okay, then there's nine red here and two up there and one in the back so that's 12. after you okay. grab that one more so there should be six more okay okay grab another three okay let's see what can stack but this thing's already basically full Getting a pallet of iron is actually really good. Alright, I gotta drop some stuff. 
stuff off. If you take a pallet of iron, it's four stacks of iron. So getting that as a drop is actually not bad. Yeah. Although obviously you, you would want the good. steel blocks. Okay, okay. Okay, if you only got oh, five, 65. right? There's one on the roof of where your um Okay. Uh, All right. machines are for collecting ores. Yep. Sixty-five plus fifty-seven. Hundred and twenty-two. Steel block. Let me just randomly grab the yellow. They're just basically junk. Oh, streamer, I see you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, another one. Which side, which side, which side? Okay, so yeah, two screamers, and I didn't even notice these two. The one ran back to, uh, behind the pillar, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, one screamer. As soon as I shot at the hurt, uh, the, uh, the other screamer from the other side, I was like, oh, oh. No, no, no. I don't like the fact that the vehicles respawn at a base. I wonder if those zombie free blocks also just stop, um, stop the cars, or just break one block out. Did you say you need one in automatics or athletics? Both of them. You need both? Yeah, I need some okay. in automatics and athletics. Alright, cool. Here's. I like to run over your spikes. I don't know why, but I seem to enjoy it. Where'd you go? Just around back. Okay, not bad. 122 steel blocks. Nope. One it's too bad you couldn't scrap the crowbar. Yeah, you can't scrap it, you can't smelt it down, nothing. You just drop it. It's pretty much useless. Wait, we've got a... Uh... There it is. You see him? Yeah, I see him. Alright, let's... Oh, he's fair. Oh, he's coming. Starts coming towards us, then he runs. Oh, wow, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, I took his head out. You grab the loot. Still says we got another one. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I can't harvest him. I, I didn't ring my uh, knife. I don't bother with the harvest. It's just a thing for money and don't need money. Right, the heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't get so take everything out of the bag. There's not much left in the bag, but there's a wrench and a. I can't remember what the other thing. I think in the right. past you used to be able to consume it for like an extra boost or something. Because at the moment it's just useless. You sell it to the trader, but he uh, he buys it for super cheap, and then he sells it back to you for like super expensive. Yeah, I'm like right. To replace this with all steel. See, this whole floor of here needs to be concrete. So I can see bags like that. Stairs at the back took a bit of a beating. Thank you for letting me join you again. Yep, no problem. I'm sorry for blowing up the two down. That's okay. It look, looked looked like it didn't do much damage. It didn't completely destroy anything that I saw, or did There's it? There's a blue bag out front here that's got some steel in it. on the other side of the um, walkway. I have to go fetch okay. my drone. So, Gene, you wouldn't be able to port me to you, would you? Yeah. Um, LPI, teleport, 
There we go. Six two seven four seven two player one. Should be seven. in a horde around here. Are you ready? Soon. I am ready. I'm ready. I chose you, yeah, but you're invisible to me. Oh, there you go. Little bit of a delay. Thank you. Just please make me that um, sniper rifle. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna just get my drone back. Tell me if uh, there's enough parts to make the sniper rifle, the lever action. And what's the other one again? The pipe. Not the hunting. Yeah, the hunting rifle and the pipe. I want all of them at like level 900. So it's easier to What's quest for them. Demanding. Pipe. Rifle. You have plenty of stuff. Actually, no, you only had one glue, or two glue, so you just got that done. Only two glue? Um... Hunting rifle. You had enough parts for the hunting rifle. What was the other one? Uh, uh lever sniper, action. Hunting, sniper rifle, yeah. Lever. Lever action. So you say there wasn't enough for the pipe one? No, no, there was. Just enough. You only have one glue left. Oh, okay. So you're making four weapons now? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, Thanks. should be done any second. Wow. My XP is almost the full bar I have to make up. Damn. Haha. <laughs> I make you pay for it. The funny thing is, I well, don't have... remember when last I died. Ooh. Like rubbing in, will ya? <laughs> so I have 42 like... deaths during, on this server. I've died about six times since this open view, guys. I'm gonna have to make a ne uh, another box just full of my um, armor piercing rounds. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. Death number seven? Oh, ten. Oh, I, I survived! I thought you're oh, good at Minecraft. Fun. Why are you dying so much? Oh, Shut up, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, okay? Asking the tough questions. <laughs> okay, so I need TNT. I could easily break out these at the bottom with my pickaxes. Let's do this. Yeah, I could use TNT, but I think it's probably going to be safer or just neater looking. If I actually use my pickaxe. Yeah, I built on top of the prison, yeah, so I should be able to carve out quite a bit of uh, quite a big chunk from this section over here. It needs to be a way to sort stuff easier. Even if you have to work towards it, that's fine. Like a certain amount in a certain book and then you can craft, um, like... A vice versa kind of storage thing. Um, I think I can actually make myself a silencer. I died oh, in the cave. Sure. around here somewhere. Mr. Charcoal thought he was Spider-Man, not Relis. Hey, Prophet. Did you need some corn iron, man? Nope. Can you uh, make yeah. silencer or you want me to do it? I can make you? one. Okay. Silencer. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can make the schematic mod. It's fine. I can make the silencer right now. If you uh, got any uh, ink, I think I I'll the trade box. you some of them uh, metal steel blocks for the ink. You need steel, polymer, oil, and mechanical parts. Steel, steel, steel. 
I know. Nope. Polymer, oil, and mechanical parts. Polymer. I, yeah. I was yep. about to say. I, have poly right uh, I think I it's because I was inside the uh, container. One minute, 40 seconds. Thank you. Make sure my um, M60 is a little bit quieter when I clear places. Okay, so that problem. What's that journal called? I have to make uh, John for the end end quest. Uh, Lost stand. Either this one or the bipod. Don't think we have the bipod. Yeah, let's use a problem. So after the um, pipe rifle, it's the hunting rifle. Right. I was like, huh? What was that just now? Uh, so I have to go get that was my... testing out a gun. Stop. Okay, so it's this yeah, one, it's, this it's one, this one, this one. I have eight, uh, eight extra ink. I don't know if that'll help you, but I have eight. Oh, that's okay. You go ahead and keep it. You're going to need it for that book. No, I just crafted it. That's why I wanted to know what it was so I could craft. I think there's another book you gotta craft after that, isn't there? No, just the last stand. Yeah. And I craft the next two class books I wanted to do, and that's what's left is eight. So I made sure I crafted anything I wanted uh, done. Why does this game hate me so goddamn much? Come on, it doesn't hate you. It does. Yeah, it doesn't hate you. You know how in school if somebody picked on you, they liked you a lot. <laughs> that's what that's what it is. That's what the that's game what is. It means. Ah, I see. That's absolutely the, what it means. <laughs> the more they kill you just means the more the better you take. It's weird that the pallets don't uh, readjust their prices or their, their times, but the other stuff does, like the normal loose resources. If you take the bellows out, it goes back to normal crafting. Sixty modify. I'm not gonna complain. Those things take long enough to smelt as it is. But that's what I mean. If you smelt it down, the pellets, um... Oh, you mean like the, the fact that the pellets are doing that and others not? Yeah. I think it's a, it's a, a perk or a boost for using the, um... The pellets instead of normal resources. Being able to not send... Well, I think it's it might be a bug because of the size of the pellets. Leather. Okay, so I'm going to have a scope for this thing. M4 should be enough. I don't think it's going to be able to hold a magazine, but let's try this one and then the silencer. Perhaps this, if it can.
Right, so this one I need iron and I need clay. Yeah, it was actually my last. No, I think there's one more pallet up in the box. Okay, so I have enough resources to actually keep building and do repairs and stuff. I'm going to see where they did damage, but mostly the problem is going to be this over here. They get stuck on the back of the building, so I need to try and remove this. Um, I think if I can put pillars every now and then, but remove the rest of this. Just have everything else cave in. It's just a shame that the auger is so useless. Especially if you just want to clear your base or make some space. All I have to do is make sure that the thing doesn't cave in. That's the biggest problem right now. But if I can remove the inside of this prison, just put it on stilts or something, so the zombies that get stuck behind have a way to pass through. All I need. The doors can cave in, the walls can cave in. I need to make sure that the rest of this doesn't cave in though. That's like so. Yeah, that reaches the bottom of here. I could use TNT, but I feel like it's going to do too much damage to the surroundings. I don't have to destroy that one, it's not connected to anything. But now I'll just keep the middle pillars and then later I'll put my own pillars. Coffee. Okay, so for now, instead of the shotgun, we can run with this one. The shotgun, yeah, it has its mods back. This one has its mods back. Awesome. I wouldn't be doing this if we didn't have a proper pick. It's only four shots per block, so it's easy enough. I'll be back in a little while, dinner time. Okay. Okay, okay. Probably every now and then I'm going to have to put my own pillar in anyways. Make sure the top doesn't cave in from all the weight. Maybe if I shouldn't mark it on the outside so I know which one to dig first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, wait. Two, three, four, five, six. No, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. Seventh block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seventh block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so two pillars. There's going to be a pillar over there, a pillar over there. I'm going to put my own pillar over here. And then we can actually drop this pillow over here. And then as well for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This, like, the corner is still going to be there, but the rest is not going to be there. I need to be really careful because if everything, imagine I lose everything right now just because I cave in the wrong block. That's how easy it is. Oh, 
The other pole over here is going to be inside the wall. So this pillar over here. But, uh, like I said, I want to make sure that's equal over here as well. Give me a corner block. One, two, three, four, five. Corner block. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I could probably put a, mid a middle pillar in. So then this one will be yeah. This one will be yeah. And this one will be over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that should be enough. There's going to be a pillar on the outside of each of these, so not just in the middle, but also... This one over here is basically the corner block, and then these two over here. I think for now, these ones I'm just going to keep full blocks until I can replace them later. At least the floor is concrete. I can keep. I can keep it as is. Well, that was stupid. Not you. Not you. Why am I stupid? <laughs> Not you. Oh god, damn it! Okay, I think I'm gonna use the steel blocks. I wanted to use it for the horde base. But it's more important to keep this place up. The building blocks. And actual steel for upgrades. To make sure I don't misplace this accidentally. Way too expensive to misplace. I wonder where Alan is. I haven't heard from him in a while. last time you were talking to him? Well, even on the server, yeah, he's been really quiet, just like doing his own thing. And I don't know if he's just busy with work or something, but it's been a while since he's actually chatted in, like, just Discord or been online. Actually, check. Fox servers. Players. Alan. Last online one week ago. Yeah. Rip has also been, uh, hasn't been online for a week, but I know he's been super busy with work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people just get busy. I think for added support, I should probably do the double pillow over here as well, even though it's not necessary. Just said more blocks are holding everything up. The moment I have everything where I need it, and I have everything detached where it needs to be detached, I'm going to drop this whole place. Came it in. Yeah. But I want to make sure all the pillars and stuff are detached first so I don't accidentally cause a massive problem. If just one wrong block is still connected when I cave this place in, it can cave in my whole base. Lose everything. Yeah, that one over there. This one over here. I should be able to put TNT like a few blocks up inside a, a crevice and explode it, but I'm just afraid that the um, explosion might like damage the floor and stuff as well.
The race we can place on the bottom of here. I wonder if they're ever going to make the physics more realistic as well. Like, you can't have the floating half block on top of a half block kind of thing. If we look at Minecraft, for example, if you take a half block and you put it on top of a half block, it makes a full block. I hope it would even be possible with 7S3. Ah, Pumped something, stuck the finger out. Pumped fins. So this ah. pillar needs to also be steel, but I'll replace that later. Off the tap. I mean, if I replace it now, it's, it's... I actually cave it in as well. Just drop it there, chop it to the bottom, and then I put my own pillar in. Like That's why I kept dying. Nothing to do with my parkour skills at all. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'd be careful, I'm not paying attention to my surroundings, so a wandering horde can so easily just surprise me. This section's gonna cave in. This one, I can do the outside corner. Ooh, emeralds. Or diamonds. Whatever they're called. Are you sure you're a Minecraft player? I have no idea. I don't know what I am anymore. <laughs> Just say it's been a while since you've played. It has. I forgot how to farm there. I forgot you only need one block of water. For like... What is it? 8x8 eight eight or 7x7? Seven seven? Something like that? Can't remember. Technically, I can make the steel block, the, uh, the corner block over here. I can just do this, this, and that. That should be enough to hold the weight over there. There you go. Now I can cave the rest of this in. Hmm. I'm getting so much stone. Stone's the easiest resource to get in this mod. Definitely gonna have to remove the doors and stuff later as well, but they're gonna be a little bit tougher. 7,000 HP. I, I don't get how you can do damage to stone so much easier than to iron. A, a concrete block is 5,000 stone. I do 4 shots to it. Or 5,000 HP, so I do 4 shots. This door is 7,000, it's iron, and it's gonna take me... Ooh, what? 15 to 20 shots to break it? 
does not make sense. I want to have everything cave in, but the problem is if I cave in too much at a time, it might cause issues. Like what? What do you mean, issues? Um, it, it might draw, uh, drag everything else down. Trying to make sure that I have just the right amount of blocks. I wonder if I shouldn't first make the floor steel in like a zigzag pattern. Like do this. In between the poles. A zigzag pattern? Yeah, it's just like a, a, a connect the steel poles blocks that touch the roof to each other. I make lines okay, on the roof the steel. to steel, yeah. Okay. If I do that, that might actually help it. That should help it because you're um, connecting it to the pillars. If all of a sudden hear something breaking, and uh oh, made a mistake. It'd be good streamer uh, content if it fell in. He just loves seeing me suffer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out. Even Darkest Souls, it's too easy. <laughs> it is. You, you know what it is. <laughs> it's supposed to be hell on earth, and you had a heck of a lot more. Pro the um, insane. That's just. It's insane. But the only reason, no, but actually, right. no, but it's unfair to compare the two because an insane uh, difficulty I had, like a wandering ward every six to twelve hours that I killed all, every time. So my game stage was super high, super early. If I played that one by just running away from wandering hordes, I would have been way easier as well. Yeah, but doesn't your uh, game stage go up higher in uh, Hell on Earth than it does in, in Insane? Yeah. It goes up faster than, like, say, for example, you're doing worry difficulty, but still at the same time, I'm not killing. Remember the uh, the modlets that I had installed for the Wandering Hordes, for example. I had the Wandering Horde between 25 to 100 game stage above me, and if I killed them, oh, and they were yeah. way more tougher, so they, uh, they I got way yeah. more XP faster. Yep, that's right. You, they were increased severely for levels. Yeah. So killing those on insane difficulty levels me up like crazy. Doing the same on this one, like the killing every single Wandering Horde will level, level me up faster as well. So I'll try and see if I can't kill more Wandering Hordes when they do appear. Are you... that is Horde. You're doing Horde Knight, right? Yeah. Okay. The Horde Knights especially, if I can kill a ton of zombies, it's gonna level up me up nicely. I'm gonna try and cave this thing in section by section by section, not to, as to not to worry too much. I have the corner over here up, uh, put in. That put in. So it should be safe to drop this section. We'll probably put a pillar in over here later as well, but for now. As long as I can detach this over here, that should do the trick. Imagine if we had like the ban hammer from um, Joke Mod on this. Oh yeah. I love one that shot thing. breaker. <laughs> Just literally one click and this whole stone block's gone. That's a builder's wet dream right there. Ooh, there's an airdrop over there. Um, the crowbar. So, in Darkness Falls, does it still do massive damage? Like, the, like a right box? Click. Yeah. Well, I mean, is it usable for, like, when you're building to break down, or is that auger still going to be better? Uh, I think the titanium auger is going to be better. Okay. But in the beginning, just breaking normal blocks and stuff, it's so much easier using that crowbar. I was going to ask, what's the crowbar look? Like? I'm just wondering now, I still need to ask him about the lock picking versus breaking. Yeah, because even though the crowbar, you break it open, it uh, it was always, if you do a power attack or lock pick, you get great loot. But now he didn't mention that in the patch note at all. 
And then people start complaining because he doesn't mention stuff like that. And he knows a lot of people up. always want to know about it, so you should uh, put Play that in. Play and find out. I think it's, it's what he wants people to do. Uh, might be. I wonder if I leave the gates over here whether the zombies will break it for me. Probably because of my food that my stamina is going down so fast. Okay, so that side's done. On this side next. I want to make sure I cut off in time what's supposed to fall and what's not. So this, for example, I can take the bottom out. But if this starts falling, it's going to take out everything that can fall. So I need to make sure it's disconnected on the other side. Sometimes if you're unlucky, it just keeps... Um, even though the, the rest of the floor is fine, it keeps caving in past it. I need to kill 12 more zombies with this uh, pipe rifle, then I can use the, uh, the hunting rifle. Way more shots as well. Okay, so it's disconnected at the top. Disconnected over there. That's not disconnected. See, something like this might actually bring down the roof as well, so you have to be very careful. Everything that's supposed to cave in needs to be disconnected from the I top as first. Hmm? Nothing. It'll be alright. Just go with it. Especially when you drop mining like a, a bunker base. If you want to drop out that whole section so you don't have to mine every single yeah. block to make it, you always make sure you just detach the roof first and then you drop the uh, thing. I used to do the bunker bases, but after too many times miss hitting hitting the wrong block and then having a quarter to half of your base or planned base fall in on you i just like uh, i'm done this chain link fence of yours are annoying because it's gonna be so tough to destroy no it's not 1.5k okay even. yeah you know how you get rid of it yeah um dig the ground underneath it <laughs> i thought you were gonna say that the floor underneath it's also stone. Well, uh, a bit of stone. Only fifteen hundred. Okay, that's and you're probably gonna have to get rid of it anyways. I started caving in. Oh wow, that's a controlled cave in. Yep. I should probably put a pillar over here in the corner, even though the tower is holding that up. And then over here, there's gonna be a pillar as well going up in line with those over there. I don't really need the sand. Oh, the sand technically I need. But I have a few pellets of sand, so for now I'm just going to cave in the debris. Probably get myself the steel pickaxe for the debris. It's a waste of stamina using the titanium one. Or the tungsten. Yeah. I keep Plus saying you titanium. Down. You have to make a new one. That'll get expensive. At least I only lose 10 on the repair. The fact that the steel pickaxe takes a little bit of uh, stamina feels so weird. I can take this chain link away because during the Horde Nights I had uh, Nemesis zombies getting stuck at the back of here. So they could have easily caved this place in now, uh, they saw fit. Why are they getting stuck? I don't know, they were coming from the back and they didn't even try and path correctly. But if I can make a way underneath my base for them to just crawl through a walkthrough, 
At least they won't get stuck as easily. It's weird, I haven't had any zombie spawn off, uh, over here after the Horde night. Yeah, that is weird. I've only had one. Small. I've had lots of zombies. I thought I might be able to cave everything in at the same time. It seems I miscalculated a bit. Imagine being, uh, being busy to, uh, you're like caving in your base like I'm doing right now, and all of a sudden you just see a ton of stuff caving in. Uh, yeah, that's horrible. And the Sound thing is, you right can't there. stop it. Even if you go, uh, like, say it's caving in over here, if you run to over here and put a pillar in, it's still gonna cave in past that. There's no way to stop it. Copy shape, copy rotation. Be right here, look up. Oh! That stupid drone picks your plants. Damn it. He's just like the zombie. If he goes over the own plant, he Crops, yeah. mows it down. That's the thing. I want to make myself a strawberry farm, but I, I love taking my drone with me. And I'm, I'm definitely going to forget that I have my drone with me. I don't know how many plants I've lost because of that. Thing. Yeah, looking good, looking good. After all of that work, there's all I've been able to do. <laughs> but I think if I'm able to actually go and put the pillars in first, I'll be able to cave in more at a time. I need to make sure my pillars are in first. I don't want to accidentally cave in this whole place. At least there's one side it's now done. Tomorrow I have to go like record like crazy. I'm actually feeling like uh, recording um, three of the Ravenhurst and three of the Darkness Falls, and then Monday recording the rest because there's so much. Because I, I usually what I do is I record an episode, and then I decide on, I try and decide on the title right after I record it, so that I don't later go over the footage and like, hmm, what's a good title for this? Because uh, while you're playing, you're like, oh, this this is so so or so this or so that, so it's easy to pick yeah. a title. But sometimes I forget to pick titles, I record 7 and I'm like, oh crap, now I have to go through them again. And the way I do the editing and stuff now, I literally have to watch the whole video through to see if there's any errors or bugs or whatever. As to compare to in the past where all I did was pause and unpause the recording. I put a lot more effort into the videos now. The one dude commenting on my video, he can't believe my videos are 35 minutes of no content. I'm I'm not getting anything done. I don't know what he's watching. I always put I always try and cram so much into the episode because I always feel I'm not getting enough done. I was just like, dude, nope. if you don't want to watch me, don't watch me. What's uh, it's your choice to watch me? He's still interacting with the video, so that's a plus. The thing is, uh, I, my <laughs> thing is, I could easily do videos like uh, Guns, Nerds, and Steel, and Glock 9, and but that's their styles. That's their creative touch to it. For me, I just play a game, I have fun, and then I record it. I try and make it as entertaining as possible, though, but I, I do just, it's just, I don't want to say low effort, <laughs> but it's just that I, I um, what's the easy way of putting it? It almost feels like I, I just said no. It's no uh, no effort, um, but basically I just make sure that I I have fun. I don't I don't want to script my videos and uh, plan ahead too far. 
Because the amount of effort, uh, I take my hats off to uh, Guns, Nerds and Steel. He basically, it's like a movie, like a TV series he's writing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He plans everything before he records. I mean, do you know how many people actually thought um, in Darkness, when he was doing Darkness Falls, after he did, I think the big bunker, he went back to Anna's place and it was like this futuristic looking awesome. It was actually really badass the way uh, he made it. But he went and he did it in creative. He made a special room. And people were uh, telling me, no, yeah, if, you, if you do this quest, you can unlock this. I told them, no, there's no such room in the game. And he even goes in his comment section or in his description and he says that he's altered a few things and he's done this and that. But people don't read that. Go to show how uh, good of a story he tells that people actually believe that that's actually in the mod. This is good and smooth and steel. Yep. Yeah. I wonder yeah, if I should take in section by section, like I put the middle pillar in over there. You wanna make sure you don't cave in too much at a time because then um yeah, it's not gonna be able to hold the weight. I love being able to go into one by one block. I liked it when you could see through it. <laughs> Now it's actually way more claustrophobic. I don't know how people with claustrophobia actually play the game now. Because now you can't see uh, like outside the world. It's, it's a very narrow, very small room that you're in basically. Come on. Please don't tell me I went too far with this one. At least that pillar is over there still. This one over there and that's all stuff over there. So this shouldn't cave in. There's always that unlucky chance. At least... Oh no, I mustn't say at least. My big forges are above me. So if this caves in, that's going to be painful. I was about to say at least my boxes aren't above me. So if this section cave in, it's fine. Do, 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 do. It feels so weird not seeing the prison over here anymore. I completely terraformed it. Isn't the shame of stamina is such a massive issue in this mod? All these doors I'm going to leave you. I think zombies are attracted to doors, if I'm not mistaken. Now, as long as I close these doors, they're supposed to think, Oh, I can go for this door. I want to cave in this little, okay. little section of here first. Hmm? She's back. Oh, she's cutting out. I'm not sure what you're saying. I said that's a big horde and fast. Oh. Is it? It, it almost sounded like, like you're saying I'm back. Yeah. Ooh. Why am I not getting any zombies or hordes or anything over here? They're all Special. at you. Yeah, she must be the one having them all. I'll send you. I'll send them down later. Once she's finished with them. I need to do 12 kills before starting more quests. So I can take the hunting rifle with instead of the pipe rifle. But there's no zombies showing up. That's so weird. I've had two hordes. Plus I did the quest that caused a whole bunch of hordes. Uh, from the final. And then I had two um, nemes. Nemes nem nem nemesis. Yeah, you have a few of these things if you want them. And there was light. I'm 
guessing if I move away from this um, prison a bit, I'll see some zombies start spawning in. Okay, single one. Maybe I'll do a single one as well. Copy shape, copy rotation, right above me. The corners are going to be the only single pillars. I could have probably put the corner pillars over here, but then that zombie's gonna get stuck. But over here, I could put another pillar over here, another pillar over there, just to help a little bit more with the supports. See, just with that, that's already way more uh, secure. Oh, only for five blocks left. Boom. Okay, more steel. Oh, I wasn't busy crafting any steel at the moment. Ooh, okay. Um... Oh, I'm almost out of carbon in this one. I should probably go with both forges and just smelt like six or nine um, nodes into each and then put the rest of the iron and clay. Three, two. That's a lot of steel. It's fast, though. The steel does. At least now that I have two, yeah, but that, um, now that I have two of those forges, it's going to be way easier for me to get these things done. Where did I put those wooden, I used up all of my boarding, damn. Remember, it's blocks of 50, right? Was that now? Which boarding? You said boarding. Uh, the zombie, the uh, stuff that you use to, um, zombie barricade, barricade, sorry. Zombie barricades. The stuff you rip, I rip off with the containers. Oh, yeah. Okay. I had like a hundred and something and I have nothing left. I need to go mine for limestone again. Or also see if I can't <laughs> smell some stuff down to get myself... Cement. You can use any forge for the cement, or is it only the blacksmith forge? I don't know. I've never made cement. I just get those Apex things. Forge. Oh, yeah, it's a, in the normal forge. I should probably do the Apex building again so you get that ton of cement from a. Yeah, why haven't I done yeah. that in a while? Yeah, I've basically you completely forgotten about that. Yeah. Tier 6 and tier 5s. Although I'm still at tier 4s at this current trader. Probably go see if it's been done with this one already. I completely forgot about the Apex building. Yep. Really don't have to use stone for making cement with that building. Um, Coffee I'll take with. Okay, so shotgun goes over there, but for now I'm going to use this one. 7.62. Go, let's go, let's go. Uh, do I have an Apex of in this town? Yeah, over there. 
That's an apex on that side, and then... I think that's the only one. I don't have a quest for it yet because my tier isn't high enough, but I can go clear it as is. I want to stop every now and then and kill some uh, random weak zombies with my pipe rifle. I should probably first get my drone. Go straight. I was about to say, seriously though, I'm not seeing any zombies and then all of a sudden I see these spawn in. Keep beginning is one shot reload, one shot reload. This thing's so slow. I was even able to take down the machete lady in one shot. Nice. That's what makes sniper rifle so good. A little bit too high. I was taking damage. It's weird, usually you have to shoot the human head, but in this mod I've had to shoot the alien head a few times. Uh, the rifles silenced in this mod are super, super quiet. Like, I'm using the rifle right now, you're just hearing... Come on. Five more kills. I can't see how much HP has left because he's too far away. Do all the windows bugging out every time I zoom in. Two more kills. One more kill. Boom. Next up it is kill any zombie with the hunting rifle. Where did they just come from? Oh, it uses five five six ammo. I have to go back. Your hunting and yep. your lever, use 5.56, both of them. And then you go back to 7.62 and you go to the sniper. Damn, I wish I knew that. I would have saved or made myself some armor piercing rounds for this. I have normal 5.56. Uh, do I have 5.56? I might have already taken them all apart. I have a whole bunch if uh, if you want. I've got to get off for just a little bit to um, help make supper, but I can unlock my 556 five, box. Uh, it's fine, a little bit fall. Just stay on this side. Sorry. 556, five, 556, five, 556, three stacks should be enough. You said the hunting rifle and the lever, lever action is the same. Yeah, hunting and lever are 556. Five, and pipe and sniper are 762. Okay, let us go.
I mean, already the hunting rifle is supposed to be way more powerful than the pipe rifle, so even if I'm not using armor piercing, as long as I'm stealthing, I should be able to do quite a bit of damage. I have a good one for you guys. Here we go. Reload, 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 reload. Damn. 35 steel blocks, yay. Oh, this makes more noise than the previous one. Oh, it's a one shot. I thought it's three shots with a hunting rifle. Nope. I think this reloads faster, but still, damn. The pipe rifle definitely makes less noise than this. This one you can actually hear it packs a punch. Hoping the resource over here haven't been fetched yet. Probably zoom in to see. My senses have picked up something. Probably toggle active how many zombies I need to kill. A lot. A lot, a lot. Ideally, I want to try and sell this whole building over here. Yeah, all the resources are still at the back over there. Nice. Damn, I was almost able to take it down all the way. Or him down. Matt. Slightly too high. Because the windows are so buggy, I can't see where the window begins or ends. Sure, I'll be back. Alrighty. You know when his pan has Coca-Cola inside it, we say Coca-Cola. Well. Oh, 
At least even though it sounds like it's making a ton of noise to me, it doesn't seem to really be making that noise. Because the zombies aren't hearing this. How the hell can I shoot this lady? The window seems to be protecting her. More. Okay, not bad. I need to have the rest of the zombies spawn in before I can actually snipe them. Technically, I should be able to fall here. And jump back. Yep, there you go. I can. Nice. I can jump real high. It seems someone has been here before, uh, perhaps, I wonder if it was me. Because, no, but then again, this one was half not explored on the map. I'm gonna stealth this place so bad, I need to get this kill, uh, kill count for this gun up. The biggest problem for me right now is gonna be the armor piercing rounds. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Okay, there's no snake over here. You just notice there's a ton of zombies on the other side. It's weird, half of the zombies are here, half of them are not. That's a zombie bear. My M60 silenced, so I wonder if I'll be able to kill him without waking up everything. Oh, I thought he was dead. I was about to jump in down there. Wait, let me get out to see you guys. Get some sleep. Yeah, good night. Alrighty. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, some of these zombies are definitely tougher than I thought. Damn. A downer zombie think it's dead and all of a sudden it attacks me. Let's see. Yellow is tougher than blue. No, got the kill. Nice. Oh, a blue zombie inside. The fact that zombies can just spawn wherever they please is weird. Yeah, that is weird. Now, this place should only have sleepers inside, but now these zombies are actually spawning inside of here. Um. Make a hole in that door, please.
I should have killed all the cops on the top. Now it should only be a handful of sleepers on the inside. Master, we are not alone. I think the snake, no, the snake doesn't count. This is a living snake. Wait, where are you? Oh, it actually almost jumped up here with me, damn. It's so hard to zoom in when the windows keep moving around. Yeah, now I need to get closer. There's gonna be a ton of zombies on the roof over there. There might still be one or two inside this building over here. Oh, I didn't bring food I've with me. Oh, crap. to not wake everything up right now which is really difficult and down the spikes okay i thought more zombies are gonna wake up from that just now but nope Something's breaking in somewhere. I think it might be with the cops. Uh, the, like there's a little bit of fuel and some zombies stashed over here. I think they're coming from there. My senses have picked up something. Now let's see how loud this gun is. At least the zombie birds count as um. Zombies. Yeah, that makes it a little bit easier. Doing this without a horde knight is a little bit tougher. Although at the same time, it's so much easier because they're all standing still. Come this way, please. I don't want to go for a headshot because that would have exploded everything just now. It's a shame there's no more lighting at the POIs. I could easily shoot him with an M60, but that's gonna wake up everything in the building. I've got a bad feeling Prophet, about you this. told half the joke and then you stopped, dude.
peanut butter chocolates. Perhaps it's a peanut butter that you put in chocolate. Okay, where is more sleepers? He's definitely underneath me at the moment. Those aren't going to spawn in until I get super close to them. Come on, lady. A little bit easy, don't you think? Oh, look at my HP. Oh, you got plenty left. There's all this lag right now. I'm thinking there's a wandering horde spawning in. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I was getting some lag too. Kind of ominous. My senses have picked up something. He's not going there. No, 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 no. What if I stand over here? I don't want to start attacking the barrels over there. It's going to be a disaster. Man, you went up four levels. Who, me? Yeah, on that horde. I didn't even notice. You were at 106. And seven points to spend. Hmm. It's just a shame that I couldn't use the rocket launcher properly. I wanted to use the rocket launcher and then switch to the gun that I, I'm using, but it didn't work. How come? I think I'm not swapping. Uh, the weapon doesn't register fast enough. It doesn't swap fast enough. Oh, okay. Slight delay in there somewhere. Yeah, so the moment you shoot, it's already too late. But uh, with the, the contact grenades, because it takes a while for the grenade to actually reach its target, you can actually swap fast enough. But the moment you use the rockets, it's way, way, way too fast. Come on, jump properly. There's bound to be a third dog. Hello. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Oh, a fourth dog. Prophet, was that uh, just now the uh, finishing thought to your Coca-Cola thing? Yay. Okay, I've got 74 kills with this um, hunting rifle so far, not bad. If I had these rifles during Horde Night, I would have been able to get so many more kills. Especially with how fast this thing reloads. Dead, dead. Dead. Yep, that's another zombie bear. I could have sort of already killed that zombie bear. Is that another one? I'm so tempted to go for that headshot. But if I do, uh, the armor piercing round is going to go through the zombie and explode the thing. My senses have picked up something.
So tempted to take the shot. Zero chocolate chocolate. Oh wow, that's a clip of there. Although you would have never reached me from there. Eighty four kills so far, not bad at all. With the rest that's left, I can just do this. Oh, you guys can climb this. I didn't know that. Master, we are not alone. Okay, so just the zombies inside over there with those barrels. And then the zombies downstairs over here. Might be a cop in there. Nope. Okay. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. If it had three shots instead of one shot, I would have had the 125 already. But because I had to reload after every single shot, it takes a little bit longer. Okay, let's see. I just basically want the cement over here for the concrete mix. The bricks even, I'm not really going to use them. You just use those to get cobble upgraded, but I don't have any cobble to upgrade. Okay, now the problem is my food and drink. I've been here so long that my food is super, super, super low. I should have the food boxes again, I think underneath a stone. I think I actually would have been able to use a steel um, shovel and get just as much uh, cement. It just feels like I'm getting very little cement for all my effort. I dropped the coffee inside the vehicle? Yeah. basically just need one nice big wandering horde and then I have my kills for the hunting rifle.
That shouldn't be too hard to get. Especially after uh, nighttime gets done. I think it, it sort of like resets it. That's when it starts bringing them out. Maybe I can fight more bosses and stuff. One boss in the way here gave me um, 35 steel blocks. Oh. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, Bob. Hello, Bob. <clears throat> what a good dinner. Good stuff, huh? Chinese. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Now you're saying that I'm actually craving some spring rolls with that sweet chili sauce. Oh yeah, that's I'm delicious. actually craving some sushi. I think I'm gonna make that for supper tonight. I've never actually had sushi before. It's good. Real good. Then again, depends on your taste. It's a shame you can't turn the brick into like cement or something as well. Well, I wish you could uh, stack it. That's that'd be a lot better to deal with if you could just. Stack How much it. cement do you usually get from like the cement in the Paxco? About three thousand. I'm halfway done, more. and I barely have a thousand. And I'm using a titanium pickaxe, uh, a, a shovel. Tungsten, I mean. Hmm. I'm getting 16 per block, which feels very little. Yeah, it does. I think a steel shovel might actually give more cement. Oh my goodness. Tomorrow I have to do repairs for my hood base and single player. Even the design that I made, just like outside the prison, it, it's taking too much damage. Compared to this base where I'm not using any ladders, just stairs, and the zombies pass perfectly. They barely smacked any blocks. There was one staircase being smacked on the side, but other than that, nothing. Hmm. Made your leg. Wonder if we're gonna have a horde. I've got a horde. Okay. The hell is that song? I refreshed three hours before the stream as well. But later we can do another refresh. I'm back. I'm back. And she's back. Okay. Oh, That's till he needs me to make rice. That'll be a bit, because he's just starting to brown the hamburger. Brrr. I'm thinking of in my single player in Ravenous, going to live in the snow biome. He could. Give it a shot, see how it pans out. One thing in Darkest Falls that I can do to make it harder already is to go and live in the snow. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want to do that in Darkness Falls. I thought you want to see me suffer. You can do that. You do out care. No, 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 don't get your hopes up. If I go and live in, I think it's Caitlin and uh, Jen's place. Oh, that's right. Caitlin and Caitlin and Eve. You know, Ooh, you're not supposed to be living member. in Anna, right? Uh, say again? You're not supposed to be living in Anna's? 
What do you mean? He put a this latest update. He put a lock on the door, so you can't get in at all. <laughs> what door? The original, you know, the front door that you, you know, you go down the steps and there's that door right there. Yeah, the wooden door. You can norm. Why don't you destroy the wooden nope. door? Nope. No, the metal, the um, electronic door. The. Oh, when you door. go down. Like the yep. first time, okay, yeah. Yeah, but you can still live in a place um, by doing, uh, just like on top, on top of a place, and then later you can unlock it. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> did you see the latest comment? The, the latest patch that he has out? Yeah. Yep. Because people uh, but, uh, people can't play the game properly. <laughs> but I mean, it wasn't really that difficult getting the uh, key card and stuff. So I don't know why people are complaining. Just because of that, you actually made it easier now. Now you just need a blue key card to get, uh, get in there. Although you do have to do Eve's small bunker, I think. So uh, Eve's small bunker, the reward, gives you a blue key card. And then you have to use that to open Anna's place to go and talk to her. But yeah, we have a new member, yeah. Sneezy Gaming. Yeah, but you can get the key card. Uh... Out of loot too, you know, like got yeah. the bags. And yeah, that's the thing. You don't, <laughs> it's still easy enough to get in there. I actually get it out of those scout quests. Spam those and you're done. I wonder how many people know there's um, resources behind all the loot. There's a final stash behind the cement, but there's also behind the cobble and clay and also behind the stone. There's a few times that I've seen the one uh, looted, but not, not the rest. My senses have picked up something. I don't know if someone just didn't have enough time, or they didn't know about it at all. Um, Sneezy, are you in chat at the moment? If you're on Discord, I can add you and you can join us on the server. Yep, the more the merrier. Just became a member. Welcome. I need another box. Ooh, let's have coffee. Nice. Where were you before I grabbed the resources? for like a millimeter every now and then. Just as I shoot the heads go up and down. Master, we are not alone. A hundred out of one twenty five kills. I see my sniper skill isn't really that high because I'm still not taking down like weak zombies every now and then. Yeah, now drone. Take all of that so I can take the final stash in the middle. It's a shame all of these things are just crap. Tier 4 red level 900 gun and it's weak. Yeah, that is disappointing.
I modded right one up there. and it's better than my SMG. And it takes 762. Well, that'd be why, though, because it's 762. Yeah. But I modded it. That, even before I put the bullets in it, it was better. Oh, eat. Okay, drop. Every time I see easy pickings, I have to try and kill them. Oh wait, you are orange. You are a tier one. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh wow, that killed him. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Is there a whisper over here? It's not like the zombie just whispered at me. Right after I kill a, I killed the boss, all of a sudden I'm getting like a ton of whispers. Okay, so, uh, that's a crappy quality. Um, probably drop a few things on my drone as well, just for some space. Not my vehicle, I mean. At work, I don't have to do it. Oh, okay, cool. What did I miss a blue bag? Can I need to wait a little bit more? The curse is too big. Um, is your Discord name the same as your um, YouTube name, uh, Sleazy? So I know later what to add as a member. Or who to add, I mean. I want to kill that parasite, but that's a waste of ammo. Seven more kills, and then I can upgrade to the next weapon. Yep, definitely need a little bit of a refresh. I've seen the one, I don't know if you guys have also seen this, there's a um, YouTube clip of a, a old guy doing Warzone. Uh, but he, he's like, he takes a sniper rifle and he's amazing with it. But you can see he was a sniper in real life as well. Because he even I've explains like how the drop and everything happens there. <laughs> really cool. He's playing against, you know, kids and young adults and he's just destroying them. And they, uh, but the one actually, uh, the one guy commented, yeah, he's dangerous. If he can do this in the game, he's definitely done it. No shit, he's definitely done it in real life. Yeah, no kidding. A, that's a man you don't want to mess with. Nice, three shots. What the hell happened here? Holy cow. 
Fire Rifle being that strong in late game is a nice surprise. I might be a bit biased, but if you find one before day 10, it can be your best friend. Yeah, especially with how little noise it makes. Um, TBF Gaming was using a rifle like a really early game, and I was super surprised at how quiet it was with a silencer on. Whoop. I've gotten so used to. Oh, come on. How many shots does this have? Five shots. Okay. I've gotten so used to uh, reloading after every shot that this feels weird. Okay, let's go. Master, we are not alone. I could probably also do this airdrop with this weapon. I don't see why not. I did it with the pipe rifle. You think I was dead the Horde Knight with a pipe rifle and I got, only got to like 50, 60 something kills and after Horde Knight I'm already now on the uh, leather action just because of the um, easiness with how much you can snipe with this thing. Sniping is super super easy. Did you save that um, Wolframite for uh, mine? I did. You probably have proper armor on. Been doing this right now. She's still alive. No, she's dead. Okay, let's do this. There was a lot of lag assist there. I shot and he walked into the bullet. Oh, he's still alive. Damn. Does he have a sledgehammer in his hands? Because he is way too tough. Okay. Uh, to check, not sure. Sneezy gaming. I don't know if you're already on the Discord or not. I'll just check now. I need you still have to join, and then that's fine. I'll just need to look for it later then. Okay, treasure map down there. Let's go for the treasure while we're on the road. Be careful not to accidentally go through the wasteland of here. My head's on backwards again. Master, we are not alone. It's very hard to tell where zombies are coming from if I do. But how many zombies are just spawning in the wild with this mod? Doing kill quests like this is actually really easy.
Okay, let's go. What was that just now? Oh, there's berry bushes over here in the desert as well. Damn. Although for some reason I thought it's like strawberries or stuff in the wild. He dropped the bag, but I'm not driving all the way there. That's just for a bag. That might have been a mistake. I did not kill him. I just downed him. Come on, where are you? He doesn't know where I am, I'm too far away. If he drops a bag, I definitely have to go because that's a red bag. Woohoo, nice try. I always drop a bag. Where is he? I didn't kill him, did I? Oh, I did. Oh, wow. <laughs> but yeah, this, he didn't drop a bag this time, the flaming dude. Really? I ran straight past his corpse. I didn't even know that I, I noticed that I downed him. My senses have picked up something. What do you fall? Probably just do like a infested or something, it's gonna give me enough kills. Nice. Level 111. I'm still trying to make up my death penalty. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, Wandering Horde, yay! Well, it was three quarters of a bar. First it was a quarter, then a half, and now it's three quarters. Like Victor said, they gotta punish you somehow, right? Damn, my aiming sucked. I've got a bad feeling about this. I hate it when their heads half disappear from not spawning in properly. I 
mouse probably hanging open. <laughs> Come on, damn it. Did you sneeze, you put his stuff up, John? Hmm? In chat. They commented with his uh, alias. He's still at work at the moment. Where's this bloody vulture? There you go. You have to lead the shot, but not too much because a little bit of a ping uh, delay. So easy to miss. I leveled up without even using my XP glasses. So, John, I just did the a quest at the waterworks, but um, it was like kill any. After I did a certain thing, it said kill any so many zombies and da da da, yeah. and um, and now it says to gather the chewed dog bone and it's a quite a ways away from the poi does that mean i don't have to do the whole hydro plant i i just had to do that part yeah because i Have don't it... see any zo like zombie mark it, does it say anything about staying within like within a boundary or something um combat survival four it just says that eerie howls in the night are getting closer Zombie dogs are hunting in packs, and we need to call their numbers before they pose an even bigger threat. Track them down and eliminate the threat. Yeah, but like top right, well, so with the active quest, it doesn't say like stay within. No, it just yeah, says... Yeah, then you can go. Okay, That's done. Guys find chewed dog bone. You're going to go and dig up a dog bone now, but just be careful. There's going to be dogs spawning after. Yeah. I think I'll go back to my base and grab my... um. <laughs> okay, go back to the base. Ah, uh, wait, there's an... Ah, the treasure's all the way up there. Just go for this for now. Look at that, her face was half missing just now. Can you zoom in? It does, it just does that with like a custom zombies. I'm hoping stuff like that. If they're gonna uh, ask or charge forty-five dollars for seven days that I, um, stuff like that can't happen. Like the zooming in bug and stuff. Uh, I mean, people are gonna pay forty-five and they're gonna complain about small things like that. Unless, uh, like, when they, they said they're gonna go stable. Although they said it's gonna be one point zero, so twenty-two is gonna be stable. Not stable. It's not gonna be alpha anymore. I'm a little bit too gung ho or gung ho, and then I just miss the easiest of shots. Blood cloud. It looks so weird with this front entrance gone now. Although I should probably, I, I should be able to make a. Ladder over here that I can reach because I can jump five blocks. So as long as I have a little bit of a ladder, I can reach it. Yep, there you go. Easy peasy. Okay, I'm in. All right, Victor.
little bit of a delay just now. I need to make more pallets again because I, my boxes are starting to get a little bit too full for my liking. Even the mod box is getting full again. Damn. See, what I could do is I could go and sell these. But I mean, we have so much cash already. I can smelt them down. The problem is just it takes forever to smelt some of these down. It's mostly when I'm at my base over here that I get that screen, uh, screen tearing thing. Weird. I wonder what to do with the textures over here. Put that away, put that over there. Put that away, put that there. Okay. I have this pillar in on this side. I need to put two pillars on this side. Now we remove this one. Oh, I'm gonna have to remove the door over here just to be able to put the other side in. That's annoying. As long as I do this, they should not cave in at all. We're able to drop that side. And yeah, that's not being attached to anything. I can basically drop the rest of the half of this over here. So, all the way through here. I don't know what I would do if I, I didn't have this pickaxe. The amount of fuel that I'd have to use just to uh, do this with the uh, auger is insane. What, what kind of pickaxe is it? Tungsten. 901. I mean, it drains my stamina. But at the same time, it's so, so, so good. It is good. I use it. All I have to do next is to go and drop the fence at the back. But that's going to take just as long. Okay, mining's maxed. 
repair tools max. I don't even have to put points in this because I don't know, need that stuff. Uh, wood cutting. I should probably go and cut a ton of trees down. Salvage operations. I already have an impact driver. I do want to get to a point where I have like everything unlocked. But for now, if I'm not going to be making it, there's no point in putting points into it. Bit of borders maxed out. Charismatic nature, perhaps. Or position. Yeah, let's go for position. Honestly, if I can't um, get my room in such a way where I can put like a green screen behind me on the wall or something. At the moment, what's behind me, I don't know if you can actually see at the back. There's like a, oh yeah, <laughs> this, this thing's actually, look, at the moment the add-on's actually really working well at like blocking out the background. But that white outline, that's going to go away if I actually have like a proper green screen at the back. But there's doors and stuff behind me the way I have it set up now. So it's not going to work. I'm gonna be able to put a green screen behind me and then just block out all like green color. Although I think if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be like a specific um green. It's not it's not just any green, it's a specific green. Fence is keeping the rest up over there. Okay, and then I need to remove the flooring over here. As soon as that's done, all of this is going to... Okay, no, wait, 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 wait. Remember what I said, remove everything that's connected to the roof. Disconnected, disconnected. This technically, yeah, as long as it's not connected over there, this shouldn't have to be removed. But just so it actually fits with that over there, otherwise it's going to bother me. I'm removing this now, yeah. I just wish that if your uh, mining tools was maxed out and you have like coffee and stuff active, that your stamina didn't run out as fast. Or well, at least it has to be like a triple or quadruple um, increase in stamina regen. Ooh, what I want to do on the bottom of here, around all of the poles, I want to put spikes. I'm going to use those, uh, what's it called? Log spikes, upside down. I want to make sure that if a zombie stands underneath them, they try and go for the pillars. Remember, zombies usually go for pillars if they're uh, aggro. Just do a little bit of damage, like shoot them with something, throw them with an explosive. And all of a sudden, they start pothing properly again. Same with that. As long as they're taking damage, they're not going to want to go for the pole. They're going to want to go for you. That's disconnected over there. Basically, this last section over here will, uh, will drop later. But for now, as long as I can take the bottom away, we'll be able to drop a nice big chunk. Okay, now we just remove the bottom and then everything's going to cave nicely. I'm really hoping a horde or something comes through and they go for all of the doors. I mean, I can easily just break out these two blocks over here and that's going to cave in, but I don't want to make holes all over. Later when I actually go and make the whole floor concrete, then I can do stuff like that. At the moment, the only thing that's going to stop the zombies from pathing through this place like I'm intending them to do right now is the fence. The fence, I might actually have to go and take a line out. Although, 
I thought it's a 10k fence, but it's only 1.5. Damn, that last hit. Let's just wait for the stamina to come back a little bit. I wonder how long it's going to be in my single player until I actually get uh, titanium tungsten and stuff. I have... I should actually see what my mining skill is in single player. Because I think I do have the high in tools and weapons schematic. And I have found the wasteland, so all I have to do is just quickly go there and do a little bit of mining. Let me go look at all of their announcements and stuff. It's been a while since so I actually got any notifications from uh, YouTube recording other channels. I think it's mostly to do with the fact that I'm usually watching shorts and stuff. Okay, now I think the doors are gonna keep some. No, that it shouldn't, right? It should cave in all of this over here. There's nothing touching the roof anymore. As I'm aware. It's gonna cave in, that's gonna cave in. Yep, okay. So if I take this out, either this one or the one next door, everything's gonna start caving in. Unless the doors are actually also holding up some weight. Yep. Okay, um. Well, technically, it's not the door holding it up. It's the block on top of the door holding it up. Like that. Okay, now I need full stamina to be able to do this in one go. Okay, that did it on its own. There you go. Easy. Technically, I need to destroy all of this debris with my tungsten and pickaxe. I got 22 stone per. You get way more stone per. Let me just let that go away. If you hit it once, 56... 32. 22, 12. So using the steel big guys, you get so uh, so much less, but it's so much faster at the same time. The only reason I'm not using my tungsten big axe right now is because one, uh, we have another uh, resources, and two, it just uses way too much stamina. I'd rather just clear up the debris quickly with the steel pick. I'm just lucky the helicopter is not adding too much weight upstairs. That could have actually been bad. All of a sudden, just having the helicopter add so much weight that everything dropped.
Okay. Except for the door on the floor, uh, the zombies should hopefully go for the rest over here. Um, basically, if I can get a really strong zombie and I can just stack over here, I should, uh, should go for that. But the only problem is zombies can also jump and smack. So it's probably going to be easier for me to just go... Why do I have to make asphalt? The thing is, I want to be able to move fast over here. So instead of putting concrete over here, I'm actually thinking of making this whole back section of here asphalt. So it's easier between the horde base and the home base running around. Just look how slow I'm moving over here. And the moment you hit the road, all of a sudden you're faster. So even for the asphalt you make at the base, it's going to still uh, speed you up. So this whole section over here I want to replace with that. And then this section over here will replace with actual concrete. Especially over here, this needs to be steel where the zombies are falling. Um, I could technically for now just break these out. Hello? Why are you still hanging over there? Is this one attached to that one? Oh, I know what's happening. Oh, that's... Uh, I have to break one on the floor anyways. Well, I could just do that when I can do this. There you go. Oh, no, don't hit your unblocks. Basically, this block... Yeah, it's taking up this whole section over here. So that empty section is hanging off of my pillar. So this one I have to destroy on my own. That is unfortunate. Damn. Okay, I still need to go and put the other pillar in on that side. You can see where that stops over there. That needs to be a pillar down. And I have to uh, create steel from there to there. Just making a nice grid on the uh, roof over here. Okay, and then this one opens to the inside, which means it's this. And this. Come on, stamina. I still have to take all of the fencing out of the back of here. I wonder if I shouldn't leave that until the end. So I only have to worry about zombies from that side. And then uh, as soon as I'm done, I can drop this over here and then zombies from all over can come for me. <laughs> no? Come and get me, come and get me. <laughs> as soon as this pillar is in over here, this should hold the rest of the weights. We're able to drop this whole section in one go. The safe as well... Only way to really drop the safe at the moment, I can break it or I can uh, break the block in the bottom. For some reason, it's way easier breaking stone than it is to break um, iron. Well, that makes sense, Sean. Iron is harder. <laughs> yeah, but stone, stone. Yeah, asphalt, how expensive is that? Ooh, oil shale. Damn. I think there is actually a little bit of oil shale in the mine down below. But technically, I could just quickly go over there and grab that. Feel. Copy shape. Copy rotation. I should probably, while I have the shapes, just uh, put in the rest as well. It's not just these that I have to put in. It's the ones on this side. Nope, it's upside down. See, like this, I don't have to worry about the weight of this thing at all. I just need to make sure that I put some log spikes underneath and around the pillars themselves. Like underneath the blocks themselves. And then over here. Just in case a zombie hugs the block and they uh, don't get hit by the... Uh, then again, a zombie usually doesn't hug the block that it's hitting. It stands a little bit back. So if I can put full blocks underneath, and then the spikes around that, that should also work. That's full. That's double. That's double. Oh, I ran into a treasure. I didn't even know. 
I'm so glad that Horde Knight gave me so much. So many blocks. How'd you do with it? Got a 122. Wow. Lucky. That's excellent. Okay, so this has to be disconnected. I hate these small little poles in between every now and then. They count as their own blocks to help um, this whole thing stay up sometimes. So even if I were to drop everything, this pole would keep everything up. Should be able to drop the rest quickly. Technically, I want to I want to cave in this the whole corner together. But if I do that and it uh, actually manages to cave in this whole place, I'm gonna be so upset with myself. So what I do instead is I just chop out the corner that touches the the block that I want to put in, and then I can uh, make sure the rest of it actually caves in. So that block over there, and from this over here, and then that's a whole section over there I can cave in on its own. And as soon as I put a, uh, a corner block in over there, the rest of this I can just cave in. This section over here is going to be just like over there. That block's going to hold it up. There doesn't need a pillar. I'm just hoping the debris doesn't fall into my mine. Ooh. Hello, 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 meet Stu. It's insane how if your water is just slightly low, your stamina just runs out. At least I think in Darkness Falls, Kane went and fixed that a bit. It's something about um, food, uh, something about when it gets under 75%. I'm hoping you, uh, you actually meant that he fixed that uh, section. I can't wait to explore this Hell on Earth mode a little bit more. I mean, I barely start. I'm only day four. Okay, there goes the corner. I want to see actually after I've done this uh, prison over here, like the rest of this thing, if I can't go and just kill the last 50, 68 zombies. I don't have the sniper rifle left to go. Because during a horde night, I'll be able to upgrade the sniper, a sniper rifle way easier. It's so much easier killing um, zombies with a sniper rifle during all that when they're running down a straight line than it was with like a pipe rifle. Okay, do I not have any steel blocks left? Wait, what? How? I do have uh, steel left, so I can just go and use concrete blocks if I have. Oh no, there you go. I knew that I had, uh, well, no, 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 no. I knew that I had some left, but I didn't know where I had them left. Okay, especially this section over here, this whole section needs to be just log spikes. So they don't just stand still and smack stuff. Now that should hold. Make sure I upgrade the right block. If I accidentally upgrade one of these, it's going to be a pain to destroy. Okay, so over here, just disconnect it. Ayla. Yes? Can I use one of your workbenches to make pallets of clay? Alright, yeah. My lower back. I need to stretch more during streaming. I've sat in one spot for so long and I don't realize it until I start moving. I'm like, oh crap. That's 
regret that spam. I think this is you. I'm the one closest to the horde base. Jean's first uh, place. It's not at the side of Joe's yeah, USA. No, I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to find it on the map, that's all. Drone, I swear, move out of the way. <laughs> but he loves you, or she loves you. I don't know, what do they do? What do they identify as? Probably a she. They, them, we, they, him, her. I don't know. It. Whatever the... <laughs> it. Whatever they're calling themselves nowadays. Optimus oh. Prime. If I had to do this with a steel pickaxe, I'd go crazy. Okay, I should be able to drop this whole section over here. That one's already holding it up, so I can drop this. And let those blocks help with the weight. Oh, lucky hit, lucky hit. Okay, how many pallets? I'll just grab a cobble here. Hmm. That. Drop that. Oh wait, that ain't an entrance. How I see myself in? destroying this uh, tower later. On the side closest to the apex is ladder. On the right side. Oh, there's... yeah, wow. It says kill any zombie three. Do I have... but it yeah, doesn't any. have... Yeah, any. Yeah, any. I can, like, leave the area? Yep. Cone did that with his uh, final quest. There's no zombies here. You know that quest that uh, you and uh, him yep. helped me with? He did that, but he just he decided to fly away and go somewhere else and face zombies and it still worked. Because it doesn't tell you to stay within a certain range, you can just kill anything. Damn, stamina. This kind of grindy building and breaking and stuff is actually nice if you like listening to music or listening to a podcast in the background. But you just sit here and smack and smack and smack. Ah. Oh. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't paying attention. Just need to remove a little bit over there and then drop the rest over here. Technically should have done the same over here from the start. It just helped a lot with the structural integrity. I wonder if it's even worth making like structural integrity videos and stuff still. But now everyone should more or less know how this works. 
Thank you, Ayla. Gotta close the door. Perhaps a video on like electricity and stuff. Hmm. Okay, so now I just have to take the bottom out. Oh, this is still attached. Oh, now I have to be careful when I go mining at night. I used to be in the safety of the prison and just go to the corner at the back. But now the corner at the back of here is going to be open. Oh, my combat survival 6 is like almost at the edge of the world in the, in the wasteland. Yeah, it's going to be... I think it's just going to be like a fetch or something. Pardon? I think it's just going to be like a fetch or something. Hopefully it's not the same POI that I did with that black background. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's just uh, compa. It's a power surge. A secured facility deep within a fortified location holds something of great value. It's heavily guarded by the undead, and the power has been cut off. Restore the power, retrieve the item, and fight your way out. Yeah, that's the last one. I think the moment well, you well, that's number the moment, six. Yeah, I think the moment you restart the generator, number seven starts, and that's the survival. Because remember yeah. when we did Little Italy, I had to I do the power generator. And right mm -hmm. after that's when um, we fought those zombies. Yeah, but I have no idea where this place is because it's far. Like, like I said, it's almost at the very edge of the... Um, map to the south. Oh. Mm hmm. Well, in the wasteland. yeah, the wasteland, the uh, Trader Jane City, that's where I had mine. With Little Italy. Yeah, no. I'm it's even south, is it more south there. than that? Uh, yes, more south. And, like, it's straight south of uh, the city that I live in. Straight south, but almost to the edge of the earth. Oh, I wonder what's down there. No idea. Chances are no road, so I have no idea how I'm going to get there without blowing up my vehicle. Lots of repair kits. Well, if you make yourself a marauder, that actually uh, works really well in the wasteland. <laughs> Antonia, I feel your pain. It says, I thought I knew how structural integrity worked till I placed a block that was yellow and it collapsed the whole side of my base. I feel the pain. I think I've only ever had my base collapse twice. The first time was when I didn't know structural integrity and the second time was like I, I didn't know your stuff held weight like your forges your workbenches all that added weight so basically i was at the max weight the floor can handle so there's no pillar in the middle nothing like that and then as soon as i place something on top everything caved in and it caved in around the pillars like the whole floor caved in but the pillars were left standing basically i went from that block to that block as as uh, much as they can handle say each block can hold 10. I went 10, 10, so there was a full 20 in between. That's a big no-no. Okay, so... I want to cave this whole place in, in one go, but it's hard. Because you have to balance it on one block. If you're off, it's going to start um, caving in anyways. Yeah, that's gonna cave in anyways. Imagine I forgot to remove it somewhere and all of a sudden this whole place just caves in. 
I'd be so mad at myself. Okay. I just have to let go of the fence at the back of here. I still also want to go and just put asphalt all over the place. I need to mark out how many I'm actually going to need. But for that, I'm also going to have to mining, uh, go mining for um, oil shale. Okay, and now, the only reason I did this was because I realized during Horde Night that the Nemesis zombie was getting stuck at the back. But now, even the 11 block tall one should be able to fit underneath of here. As long as I take the fence away. I'm just hoping they're not going to try and get stuck behind the uh, tower over here. Because then I can see myself actually having to go and break the tower as well. Put the tower on stilts. But for that, I'm literally going to have to go and put TNT in the middle of the tower to blow it up. Gonna take too long otherwise. Um Okay. I should probably try and make myself like a promotional video for my channel as well. Like people that are new to the channel, when they get to my channel, that video, that intro thingy, I should make one of those. Gonna have to destroy that, that's gonna cave in on its own. Yeah, I used to mine over here at night, but it was inside the prison, it was way more, uh, way safer. Now it's so much more dangerous. Because anything at night can come and see you. Okay. How long does it take with a steel pick? Ooh, if it was four shots, I'd definitely be using this. The stamina is going to be the huge problem for us. I could potentially do the last shot. With the um, pickaxe, like that 66. Just to save a little bit on the stamina. It's a shame that I have to have so many filters on my mic. I mean, the filters are awesome, but it, it sometimes, uh, like when you just, like when you try and um, uh, do the creepy voices in this mod, for example, it doesn't allow you because it, uh, the voice is too low or too sharp or too high pitched, and then she just blocks it. I mean, it's probably what you want. That's why you guys almost never hear the dogs barking and stuff in the background.
Okay, this should cave in because I don't think the sides are strong enough. To handle this. There you go. It's the worst when you're making like an underground bunker base and the whole like the top soil on top of you just caves in on top of you. Especially if there's a ton of gravel, that usually weakens it a lot. Obviously it also depends on the size, it's like a 20 by 20 thing that you have underneath, the stone's not strong enough to hold it. You have to put those pillars in. That's double, 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 double. Ooh, I still have to do this side. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, that was actually dangerous caving the whole place and the side wasn't there. I still have to get a little bit more steel for that section over there. And then I want to make sure like all the way around the rim is steel and then also like a crisscross, just a grid intersection between all of the poles. You want to do a tier 4 infestation with me? You're right beside it. Are you talking you to were. me? Yep. Who do you? Just asked if you wanted to do a tier 4 infestation. I have one right here. This is mine too. Oh, okay. Scaring, scaring. Damn, I'm gonna need so much more Trying lime. To level up rep. Um, habits. Sixty left to do. I mean, we can just what? have, you can do yours. I can do mine at another time. Ooh, shit. A nasty thing. It's so easy to run out of um, limestone in this one. <laughs> Prophet, especially after you like lighted, you throw it and like, oh no, you know you can't pick it up for now. Where are all what these sparrows coming, buddy? Bring it here. Show daddy. Okay, I think we got that whole board or whatever the hell it was. Probably go see what, what kind of damage was done. Bob, uh, Bob. I'm sorry, my daughter and uh, her mother okay. came in my room. What's up? What tier are you on for, um, wreck? Fours. Rider. Pardon? Fours? Yep. So then this won't help you a decent amount, too. Okay, so over here now. See, the thing is, the nemesis got stuck on this. Now, I wonder if it's necessary to. I'm gonna loot backwards because it's night time. I need to have a way for them to get up to me. But the whole reason I put this over here is to make sure that when zombies come for me while I'm still inside, they don't just smack on the side of the building over here. But. It doesn't seem to be working that well over here now. The nemesis gets stuck on this again. I'm going to have to try and remove this. Perhaps do like a ladder system over here. Ladder system over there and connect it to the back of here and make a hole. But then I have to make it I have to che I make it so cheese that the zombies can't get in because otherwise they can destroy my boxes. But at least that way when the nemesis wants to go past, he's not going to walk into these bars over here. Behind. 
I'm hoping they can actually fit Feral. underneath of here, otherwise that's going to be a problem. Okay, now to make this asphalt going to be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, second, 8, 9, 10, 11, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, so calculator time. 26 times 34. I think it was 34, right? Equals 884. And you require five. Wait, what? I wonder if this just makes one asphalt block. Five shale. So I'm going to need about 5,000 shale because I have the rest. I'm going to need 5,000 shale just to be able to make all this. Just do that again. 26 times 34. I might just need, let's just say times 40. Because then if I miss any blocks, whatever, let's make a thousand blocks on the dot. But still, to get all that oil shale, it's going to be easy enough. Um, I'm back, sorry. You already down, nope. down there? Oh. Okay, so I'm going to go for... One of these, one of these, and coffee. Radiated. Big Mama. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Oh, this of you. Big Mama, I didn't see you. She's feral. There's still so much carbon over here, it's insane. I wouldn't have to worry for carbon for the rest of the series. Another big mama, feral. And because I have this pickaxe, it's so much easier grabbing this. Look at that. 2,800. I already have 5,000 on me, damn. That was a nice throw. Oh, she ducked! Did you see that? Mm-hmm. 1,000 for now should be fine, I think. That's it, I mean 10,000. There you go. Super easy. Six immense yeah. blocks and five boxes later. Sorry, I'm just stuffing food in my mouth at the same time. I should probably repair this now. Oh yeah, I need to make a legendary repair kit first. Let's see. Look at all the stone. <laughs> Times that by four. That's how much stone I have. Insane. Okay, and then... Oh, I probably need another mixer as well. Otherwise, I'm going to have to make three, three, three in each of these. I could make it spawn free. But that, nah, that's going to be too expensive. Oh, no, wait, wait. Um, You said it times it by 15 or 50? For the spawn free block. Or the 18. I don't remember if you're asking me. 
Damn. Okay, uh, let's see. I remember it was a nice amount. I think it was 50. Okay, I need to pa unpack these now. Oh, you tried to be sneaky, didn't you? Oh, got you, bastard. I just made those into pallets now without those, and I have to take them apart just to be able to use them. I need a weapon, hatchet. Does the hatchet count only as a weapon? Lock damage 58. 56. 154. I want to see uh, which is going to be the best axe to use chopping down trees. I want a one click left click basically. Damn, look at that. <laughs> a whole box full. Look at the cop, you buzzard. Shit. I don't one. have my thing with. My extinguisher. Brrr. Okay, ooh, it's gonna take forever. If I put these on, still quite a while. I do 1000. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, good, good. See if I could make another mixer, it's gonna be a little bit easier. What I what? need to do now is make 333 three, three each. It's gonna be an hour. Go get your toy, it's right there. Like meow. Yeah, that's my cat. Meow. Okay, uh. Um, that was an ooh. attempt at a purr. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I can't do a proper purr because my mic's gonna cut it out. No, you do not. Five, five, six. I need to keep. I almost uh, completely wasted that just now, because these weapons require them. Man, it's quiet over here. There's no zombies coming to visit me. Yeah, okay, I'm thinking of putting in each of these a certain amount. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom. This we can put it at the end. So basically, I want to smelt in this amount two times into each forge, and then uh, like a, a pallets of iron and pallets of clay. If I do it right, so we're gonna have a ton of resources in there, and then uh, smelt it out. Are you good, Ayla? Can I head to the trader? Yeah, should be. Okay. You're gonna just loot everything, right? Yeah. Okay. I no hordes out here. Oh, you need twine? Yeah. yeah. That's such a pain. You should be able to make twine. Oh, you have 20 twine okay, left. Why not? You can craft everything. I think the textures inside this prison that's uh, messing up. Even when I'm running around outside, I barely ever see that um, bug that I've been seeing. Artifacting, whatever. There needs to be an easier way to open up ammo as well. I mean, it's easy enough. Just click, 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 click. I'm literally just uh, pressing left, left click, left click, left click. But still, uh, sometimes you have like 50, 60, 70 uh, ammo piles that you have to do dismantle. How did Kane manage to change it again? Basically now it's just like a recipe. Uh, it takes ammo and it just uh, gives you the... What, what it takes to make the ammo, it just gives it back straight. 
So instead of having to read a book, it just oh, it skips the book reading part and just gives you the resources. So it's basically just like this ammunition table. You say that you want to take the, uh, this ammo apart, say shock and shells, but instead of it making the books, it just makes the uh, the parts of the ammo. Oh, that's good. Although I don't know if you need to have a certain skill up or something, because I took a, a shock and shell apart, and it only gave me one. Um, what's this thing called? One buckshot. So I'm thinking Ooh. it's to do with like your level, or there's something you have to. Go, otherwise, that's gonna just be useless. You wouldn't be able to take it apart for like all of the casings, tips, and gunpowder and stuff. Okay, so all the casings and stuff go over here. I almost have a whole box full of casings and tips. Could probably make more frag rockets, but for now I need to focus on making a ton of um, forged iron. Wonder. Need iron. Need iron. Okay. Basically, yeah. Um, I need a ton of forged iron right now. And with that, I'll be able to go and make myself a ton of um, explosives for the next horde. The frag rockets work really well in big hordes, so you can kill them fast. But to get your like kill quests and stuff up for your weapons, you can throw a grenade. Swap to the weapon and then the grenade explodes. Um, legendary repair kit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Forged oh, iron. Five minutes, so that means I can take one of the barricades, but I don't think I have barricades left. Okay, I had some stuff left on this one. What? You have to start smelting more mods down. All my spear melee, all my spear range, all of the stuff we just smelled down immediately. Okay, and now with the rest of the... Oil shale of I'll be able to make myself quite a bit of um, gas again. What? What? Yeah? You wanna go out there? Okay, hold on. I never know whether you're talking to like uh, people or the cat. Oh. Yeah, my cat. He He's very uh, boisterous and, and active, and he just he doesn't like to be cooped up for so long. And he's still in a playful mood, so he wants to go downstairs and play with the cats. Oh, huh, that's weird, Tony. I didn't actually see that um, that section. I've been watching uh, most of his uh, videos uh, recently. Yeah, that would have hurt me watching him throw away barricades. <laughs> These barricades are awesome. Five minutes worth of fuel per barricade. That's why every time I go through like a massive POI or something, I always make sure to save them. Um, I have to be careful. This over here and this over here together is going to be able to call screamers. 
Make sure that's lifted. Yeah, that's lifted. I still have to go and actually break out this pillar over here. No reason for this pillar to actually, this top section to be here. Or I could just fill it up. But like I said, I need to perhaps uh, rethink of this over here as well. It feels like the Nemesis zombie got stuck on that trying to pass by and then just stuck at the back over here. So if I can make it so the zombies can only get to me like from the back or something, they, no they mustn't be able to get stuck on it trying to reach me. I could perhaps try and make it touch the roof and then they have to go down over here. So if I can have that walkway all the way to up here, so the zombies can come here and then just walk down the ladder, they'll actually do that. And I can actually fill this up and then fill the whole pillar up over here as well. Um. Hello, hello, hello. Finally some zombies. Oh, and a boss. Hello, boss. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, I never uh, closed those doors again. That was a weak boss. I just realized that I never after the horde went and closed the doors again, so the zombies can't pass to me. This needs to be closed so they actually have a way to walk. Only two zombies, are you kidding me? One boss zombie, one lady zombie, and then nothing else. I'm guessing that's a car that exploded over there. Remember, I thought there might be something on the ground. That's closed, that's closed. I wonder if during Horde Nights I had one of these doors closed, whether that nemesis would have passed over and up and uh, towards me. Instead of just getting stuck at the back. Um, I'm making the asphalt. I'm going to use, I think, just a normal steel pickaxe. I can even perhaps do iron. As long as it can one-shot dirt, I'll be able to do way more of that. I mean, if I use the tungsten um, shovel, I should be able to, from this section of here, get so much clay and sand. But at the same time, it's just going to be a massive waste of time and stamina. Unless I do it in, like, in my spare time, just pop on, do a little bit of digging, pop back off. Clay. How many pallets of clay can I make? Mm. Yeah, let's do that. I think we actually have a few more pellets of clay as well. Yeah. That means I have three each, which means I can actually, put, uh, for each of these, put three in. That's going to be 30. I need to actually try and see if I can't smelt these out. It's going to be 30,000 clay, and it can only go to 30,000. Although it should pop in... If, it does, if the one doesn't finish because it's not 30,000 yet, the moment you use it, the rest is going to just pop into the forge. Or it should, apparently. And then I need to grab all of this. All the extras of the year. And then just go put them over here. So every two minutes, basically, I have to put another mod in here. Some of them only take a minute and a half. Some of them only like half a minute. I should, I should probably do this. Okay, good to know you can actually scrap some of them. That's going to save us some time. Yeah, now I just have to sit here and put all of the stuff in every time one of these finishes. Also, I want to make sure that I'm constantly putting in like a ton of pallets and stuff into these. I think the first thing that we should put in there is just a ton of this. I also want to make sure that both of them have the uh, bellows in. Nope. I make the same mistake as the beginning of the stream, John. Where's that others? One, two, but where's the third one?
That one has two. That one has two. This one has two, and this one has one. I feel like just put, uh, putting a well, then again, it's not going to take that long. Especially with the bellows, I think it takes like 30 minutes. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, I just have to put some wood in there. See, only 20 minutes. That's not that bad. 20 minutes. Yeah, that should be enough. Perfect. So in 20 minutes time, this will be smelted in, then I have to put another batch in. And after this, I'll put in three clay pallets. Although, it's actually probably technically do the iron first. Because if you put the clay pallets in, like I said, it stopped at 30. And because a pallet is way more than that, I need to make sure the iron goes in first. Because then we can just, with a little bit of iron, carbon, and uh, clay we have in there, get rid of the rest of the clay, and then put the pallets of clay in. Putting in three pallets of clay each, 30,000 clay is going to last a long, long, long time. At least you hope so. No, why am I putting that in there? I mean, by the time I use up that much clay, um, I feel like we're gonna have an, uh, we are gonna have all the steel and stuff we need for the base. Ooh, timing on that one. Are you trying to see how many crucibles you can collect? Well, at the moment, I want to make sure at least I have, for each of my workstations, three bellows. I have to make more. Hello, hello, bellows. Leather. Oh yeah, I was making leather. I can make four more bellows. Although, I'm out of duct tape. Yeah, these pallets I'm just going to put over here. It's one, two, three, four. Five, oh, you're six. still really close, Bob. Uh, are you uh, out of there so I can... I'm going to just go... No, I want to come out, but there's... Zombies keep coming down. So I chicken oh, shed oh, it. Yeah. Just... I'm, I'm out here killing them. Come on up. It's okay. okay. I didn't know you were up. At least it's easy enough to get rid of the mods. Okay. Some of them I know I might need later, like this for example. I want to keep one of each item. So later when I There's make more space, it's easier to get rid of. There's one by your jeep I'm coming to get. Yeah, I'm, I'm downstairs. There's a few down here. I keep killing. While I'm trying to um, finish looting. There's a scream outside. Oh, gee. oh, I thought he had the damn. She didn't even make a death cry just now, she just went quiet. And I mean, since I have two blacksmith forges, four recyclers, and three cement mixers, and the forge going, you know we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get quite a bit of zombies coming for us. Oh, no. Okay. I need way more forged iron, though. The thing is just, I can't afford to waste. I'm gonna have to go mine more iron now after this as well. Although, yeah, I can actually just smell all this iron out. 
All I have to do is make sure I put in um, anvils instead of bellows to craft them out. How many of those do I have? So one, two, three, four, five. No, no, no. Only four. Because you basically have to swap these two out with two and there's only four of them. Okay, so it's not too bad. I'll be able to put these in after and then just smelt all the iron out. And then with that iron, I can put it inside of here to help get everything else out. But I'm definitely going to have to go mining again too. I need so much! See, if I put the same mods in, it's way easier knowing when they're done. There's not going to be one done before the other one. That's a lot of iron. This alone, like just 1600 is 4 stacks I think? No, 2200 yeah. That's about 4.5 stacks of iron right there and just in one of these um, recyclers. So I'm definitely going to be able to use all of that iron. I actually want to put them in pallets so it's easier to smelt a ton of iron down at the same time. Oh, you're a damn... Have this already. Whisper. I have, I think, on all of my armor pieces. This, I should have... Let me just check. I need both of... Uh, both, like, all three of these need to be on all my armor pieces. Nice. It helps with the uh, helps with the uh, mobility, it helps with the armor, and helps with being quiet. So as long as all my armor pieces have those, I can get rid of the rest. Boom. Technically, as long as I can make, uh, keep making pallets and stuff like that, I don't have to have like multiple boxes for multiple mods. At the moment, I have clothing mods and I have all the tool and other stuff together as well. But that's not necessary at all. As long as I keep making sure that I make space like that, smelt stuff down, get rid of it, make pallets. I can put all the resources in one box. It's just the pallets after a while are going to need way more than just one box. Your box is still over here in the base. I know it's okay if I have yeah. it there or okay. Just so you know that it's still yeah. No, I know. I left a lot of ammo and stuff in there. That way if I ever get stuck out that way I can just jump in and And I definitely revamped this whole place now as well. My whole prison is gone and it's all in stilt. Right? Yep. I don't see the quest marker here. I don't know if it's ready to quest yet. You have to turn yours in before it'll pop up. Okay. Sometimes it feels like the timers for them are starting over from scratch. I don't know if it's just my imagination or if it's actually happening. Direct. 
and get a quest. I could have swore I had that quest. Yeah, see, I thought that, that might have been yours. But I, I don't know. Weird, because I have a tier... A tier 1 quest. Tier 1 fetch that shows that it's mine. I'm not on tier uh, 1. I know I'm not. Oh no, that's the one That's the one at Trader Bob. Yeah, I don't know. I have to go to the just say Winter that. No. Mile. Not the, yeah, Winter Mile. To the Bob in the western town. Why, why do you have to go to him? Because the other Bob's stuff is all over the place. I don't want to. The Bob's stuff just to the north, south uh, east of us? Yeah. All the quests he's giving me are inside his town. Maybe we're thinking a different way. There's a Bob to the southeast. Boss! Oh, I don't think I ever did that. that one. I've never been to that guy. I can give. Okay. So I have. Come after me. Between five doing? to six stacks in each of these recyclers. Hey. Um, and then there's a now. screamer behind you too. What's up? I need an eighth one though. I can't believe that I have one too little. One too few. I got her. I got her. I got her. Okay, casings and stuff. Here for Horde Knight. I've never been to that Bob over there. Look at you guys. Can't make it in, can you? Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna go out and kill him. Dramatics, Bob rolling. Oh, you're feral. Better up. Grippler must still have to make. Helmet Light I still have to make. I'm just going to go for the perk books first. Even three. I think still, I still need some number seven because I read number six and it didn't give me like the completion reward. I shared it to Bob. Oh, I need more ink. Okay. Spear Hunters, I need one book. Two for the fireman. I have another tier four infested that we can do. Or tier tier three infested, tier four, whichever. At least three more. Take. Uh, tier, tier four infested at the fit. Hunter's journal. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. I have a tier three clear. You have a tier. Oh, four. there's no hunter's journal over here. All right, I'll meet huh. you there. It's a bunch of zombies. Oh wow, the Hunter's Journal perk books? You can't make those. I don't know if that's another order. What the hell? I need two of them still. Fall down, go for this ladder. Come on. I need to dump her off. How many more do I need? I need another 35 kills with my. whatever Can this I is called. Kukri, Kukri, with my Kukri. I'm heading to the fit box. I smelt these down as well soon, but for now, I'm just waiting for this to finish. Okay, I'm just gonna dump from. Waiting for this to finish. And then, yeah. And then the forged iron should be done, or more or less done by now. Ooh, what, Why did I need the duct tape for again? I wanted to make something, but I didn't have enough duct tape. The legendary kits. He was going to make you more good. Yeah, it was legendary kits. Although, for the contact grenades, I'm also going to need them. Oh, no. Not. Ooh, 19. And I'm running out of uh, forged again. You need a lot of springs for contact grenades. Yep, I have 393. It's the forged iron that I'm running out of.
Colonel Lynch, what are you doing sneaking up on me? Okay, once that's done, I'll be able to have so many explosives. Make sure I'm catching up on chat. Sometimes I don't even realize how much chat has jumped. Okay, these are done. This should also be done. Charcoal ticking. Oh, it easy. Technically, I want to make myself a ton of charcoal because I have so much water over here that I can still cook in. But we have so much murky water, we don't have to worry for now. Okay, I'm actually thinking I'm going to call it right here. For those of you guys that um, watch the stream, please remember to smash that like button. If you have any comments, tips, and feedback, leave them down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. If you guys want to join us on the server and you want to support the channel even further, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description down below. And yeah, as you guys can see, it's actually a really fun, chill server. Today is a little bit uh, quiet. Usually there's a lot more of us on. But yeah, if you guys want to join us, consider becoming a Patreon. And then I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evenings and good night.